Everything from overlanding in your stock rig to full-on LS-powered two buggies on stickies. This is the Total Offroad Podcast. I'm Steve. And I'm Ian. And we are back for episode 55. And we went wheeling. Yes. Finally. (laughs) Mother Nature. (laughs) Kiss it. Yeah. I'm telling you that I'm over that. And then the next day, she even get like a bigger like, fuck you. What was the bigger fuck you? I woke up to snow on the ground. Oh. And it was only an inch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It and wasn't. then 10 miles away. Yeah. It was eight inches. Yep. Yep. That pissed me off a lot. I'm not upset by that. I I'm very upset. No snow. That. And thank you. No, I wanted eight inches of snow. Nope. Had we gotten eight inches of snow or had Attica gotten eight inches of snow, I might have gone back over there. Hmm. I may have. It was already on the trailer. Hmm. It's simple. Just fire hmm. the truck up and take off. I had to work. Yes, you did. But what are you calling doing? sick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we happy new year. I guess officially. Yeah, this is the first podcast of the year. Yeah. Of the new year. Welcome to 2021. I was going to say welcome to 13, like <laughs> 13, six or whatever it would be. 2020. Did you uh, do you see any of those memes? I did not. Uh, he missed out. Uh, I did not. It would be thirteen five. Uh, there was like one or like guys. A guy is like watching the countdown go. Mm-hmm. It's like three, two, one, and then the countdown switches and it shows like the new date and it says thirteen one twenty twenty. You're like, God oh, damn it! <laughs> it's never gonna end. I've had enough of this year. Uh, there were some good videos like that. So, but anyway. Uh, a bunch of them were like ball dropped. He got down to one. It was like round two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Buffering. <laughs> Buffering. Buffering. So uh, anyway, I thought those were pretty, uh, pretty good. But yeah, it's the first episode of the new year. And we're starting it off right this year by both of us going four wheeling on the same day. Yes. I will say, though, I'm not I am. I don't know how to look at the 2021. So 2020, I went, I tried to, I went wheeling on the first. Yep. It was a beautiful sunny day. Yep. And it turned out to wheel be the whole day. Well, I didn't do anything. That's I literally backed off the trailer and it died. Okay. Yep. But wait, now hold on. Now, January 1, 2021, I didn't even leave the driveway. Yep. Oh, no, I take that back. I did leave the driveway, but it wasn't until 4 p.m. because there was so much ice. Okay. So, like, how do you look at it? And then, Jerry, you know, and then January 2nd, we got to go wheeling. So, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm having mixed emotions. Just hit the pause button is all it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just hold on. 2020 is not quite over yet. Well, <laughs> you 20, just hit the pause button on the wheeling trip. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just like, ah, you know, yep. I think we'll do this tomorrow. Yep. That's exactly what we had to do. Yeah. Because I was, like, contemplating leaving. And Jess was like, yeah, so there's looks like there's three accidents between here and Ogden. Yep. So, literally, like, I couldn't go that way. Yep. Yeah, and then I tried to. I went outside and tried trying to walk around, and I was just sliding across, skating across the driveway. Yeah, we went to Starbucks. Uh huh. You guys went early to Starbucks, like well, early, like six, six, so like six thirty. The deal was, she was going to go meet her mom halfway uh-huh. between their house and ours uh-huh. to drop off the dog. Oh, I got you. So that was the deal, mm-hmm. and then when she got back, we were going to roll. So they got up, all this, and I was like, you know what, hold on. So I rode with her. We went to, we were going to Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Or she was wanting to go to Starbucks before all that. So I was like, let's just go to Starbucks. Right. Starbucks is down the road, down the road, uh-huh. down Prospect, and you're at Starbucks. Right. Like it's very close. Yeah. Um, Five blocks. It maybe. was very sketch the whole time. And I'm just like, <laughs> this is in her car. In ta- yeah. Uh-huh. And then I'm like, this is in town. So we go by the interstate Uh and like everybody is like, we're going as fast as the people on the interstate. And I'm like, and you're on the side roads. And they're all like, the flashers are on. Like there were cars with flashers on, Uh which is kind of normal. And then there's like semis with Uh flashers on. I'm like, okay, that's when I start getting the (laughs) woo. That's not a good sign. It's not just a Karen, like with her car flashers on her car. It was like professional semi drivers are driving with their flashers on. So I'm like, it's probably yeah. pretty bad. Yep. And then uh, we get going down Prospect. And I'm like, this is a main road that they like pre treated and all that. And mm-hmm. it still sucks. Yeah. Said, so I'm done. So that's what I asked her. I said, if we don't go, you still want Starbucks? And she was like, no. Yep. And oh. I'm like, all right, whippy you. So oh, really? Back to the house. Yeah. Cause she's going back to bed. Oh, okay. And uh, she's like, no, I was like, honestly, <laughs> if it was me getting in the truck, 
and like going. Yeah. I took my time. I drove real slow, right. blah, blah, blah. Cool. But like she had to go drive. My mother-in-law had to come and drive. Right. And then like once they got done, then I would get in the truck and we would drive. And I'm like, I'm going to feel bad uh-huh. if just because I want to go wheeling. Somebody gets somebody hurt. over there on that side of the thing, like gets right. in a wreck or hurt or whatever. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I don't need that. Mm-mm. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And True then story. we were already all talking about just pushing it a day anyway. And I'm like, it blew Dumb. my mind. So I was kind of like, it was interesting to me to me that some people came like uh, Zach came down from Northern Indiana mm-hmm. and said it was fairly decent. Yep. And also um, Dustin, Dustin came up from Southern, like not Southern Illinois, but South of us anyway, but yep. basically in line with us. And he said it was decent coming up too. He's like, I always took our time on the side roads and it was fine. And I was like, well, that's that's weird, man. Well, we went over to the in-laws house last night to drop off the F-250. Yep. And while I was out there dropping that off, I was looking at the trees over there. Like trees are really white, real pretty because all the snow that was on and stuff. And they got more snow than we did. I walked up to the tree. They had a half inch of ice wrapped around that tree. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I know what happened here. We were literally in the hallway. Yep. Of the shit storm. Of the, of the shit. Yeah. So, like, that's why it was, like, everybody was like, oh, it's fine where we're at, but 57 was shut down, 74 right here in town. You would have, let's see, no, you would have been able to go that way, but, like, if I was coming to your house that morning, mm-hmm. I would have had to get off at Cunningham. Yeah, because they had Go that through the intersection down. and go back onto the interstate, because yeah. you couldn't get over the bridge, because they had, like, two or three semis piled up on the bridge. Yep. They said they couldn't even get the ambulance up the overpass. Yep. Oh, yeah, because it's ice. so fucking steep. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that steep. That one's not even that bad. It's a long, it's gradual, a long gradual like, yeah. you have to get a running start. Uh-huh. And I'm sure uh, you don't want to get a, like running start with an ambulance and play bowling yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like a pinball on top of the bridge between a bunch of semis yes um but yeah it was just it was just a bad morning for that i was really hoping i'd wake up and they'd be like oh no we we misjudged it you know all we got was a, you know whatever snow something something other than ice yeah but yeah well so, that's snow i can handle snow that's snow. snow would have been a problem like three inches of three four inches of snow no big deal. Just drive right on top of it and cruise right on over there. Done it before. But like a quarter inch of ice on the ground. Nope. Not do yeah. it. Do not play with that. Well, so anyway. I think I was talking to Jeremy and I was like, I really don't want to start this year because I've got a lot <laughs> planned for like off road stuff this year so far. Yeah. And I only want to add to that. And I'm like, I really don't want to start this year off with like. Your shit's watered up in the ditch because you wanted to go on a day trip to the Badlands real bad. I'm like, because <laughs> you just had to make that had to run. go to the Badlands for a, a day, you know? Yeah. Watered up like buggy God. truck and trailer. Yep. Like, ugh. I'm like, yep, well, that's a good start to the year. Insurance ain't cutting you a check big enough for that. Nope. God. So terrible. Yep. So, anyway. So, yeah, so we postponed it till the second, which was a much better day in terms of how much ice was on the ground. True Still story. wet. Still, like, misty. Wasn't terribly as cold as I thought it was going to be. No, it wasn't bad. I had the heat running, so I was all good there. I do need to find and fix the exhaust leaks in that thing because I was getting some pretty bad exhaust in there. Like, when I'm sitting still, it get, I get exhaust in the cab. So I need to go through and diag and fix those. Mm-hmm. That's pretty high on my list right now, yeah, especially since I've been driving it. Gas yourself like out. Like I drove it here tonight. So like even tonight, I drove here on the interstate. It's fine. But as soon as I stopped in town at a stoplight, yep. I could smell it. And it's not like it's not real bad, but you know what it is. Yeah. It doesn't smell like raw fuel, but it definitely smells like exhaust. And so definitely want to get that sorted. And then... um I need to do a few other little things to it, but all in all, like, dude, it just wheeled. Uh huh. Have you ever been on that new green trail that we went on out back of the quarry where you blew out your window? <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, I feel like it was kind of new area for yeah. me, but I don't really. I hadn't been back not there. Not the most directionally challenged or like savvy person. So I'm like, I haven't uh, been back mm-hmm. in that area. In a little while, but like we used to run that the other direction where it said, do not enter. We used to run it that way. And like, I don't feel like, I don't know. 
I almost feel like they expanded the park there. Well, that's what I was kind of thinking because that deer blind, I've never seen that there before. Right. And I don't with that yeah. field. Uh huh. So I don't that, I feel like maybe they expanded a bunch of fucking property around there. Right. To add the park to the park or I'm whatever. I'm excited so. about that. Like make the make it bigger. Yep. Give me new stuff. That green trail, like it wasn't like it was really hard, except for that one. I'm gonna bring a chainsaw <laughs> next time and we're gonna make it fucking. I won't take perfect. you down that one. I'll take you down like the I took you down the stock two door. Like, yeah, you Jeep went the trail. fucking easy way. If we would have went the hard way, I would have been fucking fine. But we had to go the flat way, and I'm like, oh god. I was trying to decide which way to go. Like when I was sitting there, I'm like, I don't know. And uh, I was like, I'll just go this way. And I was like, that's probably the wrong way. Whatever. But yeah, it was the easier way terrain wise. But like, it was tight. But I had I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a cool trail. Like it'd be a great trail for somebody like with a Liberty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it with anything not a, a buggy. fucking buggy <laughs> with a fucking glass. 134 in inch wheelbase yep. and 43s and full widths. Yeah. Yep. So I, I wasn't there to see this, witness this happen. So what was the deal? You were trying to get around these trees that I drove through. Yeah. And somehow you managed to blow out a window. Did it hurt any body panel? Yeah. I mean, it pushed the cab in there. Oh, it did push the cab in? Yeah. So is it still going to seal if you put a new one in? Um, I haven't looked real hard. I haven't like pounded the cab back oh, okay. out, but I'm assuming it's going to. Like it just looks Maybe like a little. Maybe around the seal area, it should be okay. Yeah, I don't fucking care. Right. It'll, it'll, it will it is what yeah. it is, I guess. But um, Yeah, there was just two trees mm-hmm. and the right one was first and then you would go around so it and cut it this way. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so I had done that and I did my old usual like go past it and then cut it Mm -hmm. and uh but that tree had like a root or some shit sticking out just at the bottom so it it would pick the tire up just a little bit like not to the point where like oh my god flip over anything no no just like a foot or something no it wasn't even that Uh it was just enough that that cab went leaned leaned a little bit to the right (laughs) and And so i did that a couple times because then i was like oh i don't want to buy a mirror so then i backed it up and did it a couple times and but see that fucking tree was past my peripheral vision oh, it, was out, it was away from the mirror so you're like i'm good now yeah right because you cleared the mirror so you're like not that close to yep. it and then just went all right i'm just gonna boop and then pow huh and just some bitch pop the old glass out of the extended <laughs> cat window and it's not on my side so i'm fine yeah it's good ish yeah yeah i noticed it was sitting in the driveway with some like something in there i put a uh well see it was supposed to snow that night we got home yeah it did and well yeah it was supposed to and it did uh-huh. um left, and left my passenger window down <laughs> how'd, the, how'd that work out for you my fudge got snow on it yeah fudge, snowy fudge uh-huh. um yeah and my compressor's over on that side it's not like right on the side but it's kind of over on that side ish okay. and i didn't want it to because i didn't back in when i got home i literally just fucking pulled her all in the driveway <laughs> and was like done so the snow usually comes from that way right. so i was like i just want to throw something so i just grabbed like uh it's like a little spill mat thing oh, okay and like pulled the glass it has the like seal on the outside of the glass i just kind of pulled that open oh. shoved this in there and just kind of like there crunch 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 and pushed it and was like yeah that was good and crunch 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 blown out of there yet no no but, it's still uh, in there yeah it'll help deter the the waters from getting in there yeah hopefully. that's all i want i just wanted to kind of stop the like majority of the right. snow from that night so we need to get you a wing window yeah you have to get a new instagram logo printed i got an extra one of those oh, i think stuff so i can bring one more window before i gotta <laughs> re-up the sticker <laughs> So, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a little junkyard trip. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little interesting spot there. I tried a couple of lines, uh, on the wall, just kind of fiddling around, but I didn't, we didn't spend that much time in the quarry really. Um, got a lot of video footage. We get to run, we get to run some pretty decent little spots that we hadn't run in a while. We did some little bit of trail riding, which is nice. Yeah, that was nice. And we had, uh, some breakage, a little bit of breakage on the trail. Matt, what do we, we should name him something. He needs a name other than Moose Knuckle. Other than Moose Knuckle? <laughs> he needs a name. What are we going to call him? 100 feet now. 100 yards now. Well, he made it more than 100 foot, but not by much. <laughs> uh, 
we literally, so here's what, here's the story on that. We're doing some obstacles and stuff and we, did we talk him into that one or did he do that one on his own? No, I, I don't think, any, I think everybody else did it and he was just like, all right, I'm going to yeah. fall because okay. he was behind me. So it was all good. He's, uh, so he's in an XJ on some 31s and, uh, they're 31 inch IROX and he goes to get up on the rock and, uh, and he's, he's trying to get around on this thing, but you, you know, just his clearance just isn't quite good enough. And he keeps centering out on the diff on the rock and he goes to back off of it. And when he comes off the rock, it's slight it, it, cause it's so wet and slimy. It slid off to the edge a little bit and it comes down on the rock and the, the rock snapped the tie rod off. And so it clean, apparently it clean broke the tube. Like it was a clean break on the tube. So there was a piece of tube still on the tie rod. Is that right? I thought it just pulled it out. I don't think it. I don't because think it pulled they literally it out. threaded it back in. Yeah. So I think what happened was the tube itself, with the tie rod, was threaded into the tie rod tube itself, or the 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 um the tie rod end uh-huh. was threaded in, uh-huh. and when it hit, it broke it, and so it broke off the piece of tube that it was threaded to. I don't think so. It they did that, unthreaded but that be. and then threaded it back into the rest of the tube. I don't remember that part of the day. I don't know. I wasn't, I was still doing some filming stuff. And so I wasn't like right on top, but that's what I thought. Anyway, nonetheless, they got it threaded back into the tie rod and were able to make it work. And so then we took off a, uh, he, we got him out of that situation. Did he winch himself out of that situation? What do you mean? I think we went and got in our rigs at that point. Cause he was like the, where he was at, he was kind of bound up. I thought No, they put it in four wheel. Oh, that's right. Like yeah. Low, Kyle got down there and put right it in four low. That's wow, right. Wow, look at Crawls when it's in four low. <laughs> yeah, so it was having a linkage issue and it wouldn't go into four low. But he got into four low. He drove out of that. So then we, uh, Ian and I went and did that obstacle, got through that and deal. And then we took off and went up. Uh, like it, it was probably a hundred, like two, three hundred yards away. And I went through a little deep water ruddy spot between two trees. And Matt goes through it right behind me. And he comes out the other side and front tires flat. Just blew right off the outside bead. Yeah, like well, we hadn't even. <laughs> it wasn't three hundred yards. Yeah. <laughs> so he pulls up uh, behind me, and we're able to take Bill's high lift and mm-hmm. jack him up, jack up the front bumper, get the tire off the ground, and then I pulled the air hose out of the back of low key and aired it up. Jeremy supplied the uh, air chuck because I forgot my air chuck at home. <laughs> so clearly, that's something I need to put oh, on the old list of boy. things to buy. You should just put that in the jeep. And I, yeah, leave it in the well, jeep. It was in the Jeep and I left it in the Jeep, but then I needed it at the house. And so no. I was like, where the fuck's that at? Don't take your trail tools out of your, <sighs> no, it, out of your no, it's a garage tool. I need to go uh, buy a proper trail. The truth. Edition. Comes out. You don't need that when you have your Morphlate with you. You wouldn't use a Morphlate <laughs> for that anyway, though. The hell I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I could. You could have, but you could have. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to. No. Nah. But you definitely could have. Yeah. It would have worked. Totally. But anyway. uh. I would have hooked a Morphlate up and aired all of his tires up to 25. Like, haha, pop those off the bead. <laughs> Check that out, mother trucker. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we did that. And we went on down the trail. And then that's when we did that trail, that green, that new edition of Green Trail um, and ran that. What do you think of uh, after we did that and we kind of headed back out? We went up top for some lunch. And then after lunch, we went over to Red Trail. What do you think of that? The newer edition, like newer part of Red Trail, I didn't know about. After lunch. After lunch to go over to the Rock Garden. On our way to the Rock Garden, we ran a bit of Red Trails up through that sandy, like, Burmy area. Oh, uh, yeah. There off the parking lots. Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty slick. I liked it. I feel like we did that last time we were over there, too. Oh, did you? You might not have just I didn't been do with it. us, I guess. Yeah, I didn't run up that. I ran around. I ran through the little entrance part that takes you to the trails, and then I went ran up next to the parking lots instead of going on to mm-hmm. Red. Yeah. So I want to go, I think next time I'm over there, I'm going to run red in its entirety. Just jump on red and just keep following the arrows because it, um, we double tracked back onto red. Jeremy and I did after the rock garden, mm-hmm. we stumbled back onto red and we ran it for another, I don't know, a little, little ways, a no, yeah, quarter mile or better, probably at least that. Um, and it looks like a really nice, like it's a good little trail. So I'd like to run that some more. Play around. Make it happen. We put it on the calendar. That's the goal. Put it on the calendar. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it up to Snowfari. Oh, yeah. Did you it's give that one good. up? I think I'm going to have to because I don't have a tow rig yet. Don't know if I'm going to go borrow the F-250 to drag it up to uh, Michigan. Michigan. He probably would let me, but I don't know. 
Got some other stuff to take care of. Mm-hmm. So I got to figure that out yet. Mm-hmm. That was a side thought. Mm-hmm. What are you doing over there? I'm looking up stuff. What are you looking up? Engine stuff. You should do, you should do a podcast with me. I'm doing a podcast. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out how many more podcasts I got to do to pay for this engine. I'm thinking it's going to be a lot. The cheapest one I've found so far is $7,500. So how many podcasts? That? So you've made $0 in the last year. Yep. Uh, and how many more podcasts do you think if at that, I at that rate? If extrapolate this out. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, I don't know. <laughs> couple couple few years. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You might have to come up with a second uh, job there. We need a new sponsor. Yeah. Point one, just not doing it. We need a new sponsor <laughs> on that wall right here. Uh-huh. Right there on the That sells corner. engines. Oh, that'd be nice. Who is it? I don't, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> Somebody sells me a 6-2. Oh, I'm ready man. to slide in there. I mean, I'll put the sticker, <laughs> sticker right there right on, on the wall. wall. Yeah. Sounds like a pretty good deal for them. I don't see why somebody wouldn't hop on that. Deal. Right. It's a good deal. I honestly, like, I've had a couple, couple of few minutes to, uh, to reflect on this wheeling trip. Uh-huh. And <clears> I don't, <throat> I don't, I don't get know. your take on it. I'm just, I'm very meh. What are you meh about? I don't know. Okay. You went wheeling. Yeah. I saw it happen. That is a fact. Okay. I'm just not. You pulled Kyle out of a hole. Yeah. With a with a, a strap. A little baby strap. A little baby strap? Yep. Okay. I am knee to. That reminds me. Let me make a note. Did you forget something? A short strap from Crawler. I want like. A 10 foot. I don't even think kinetic? I want 10 foot long. What do you want? You want like a six foot kinetic? Yeah. Why? Okay. Because like for that situation there, mm-hmm. there's so many more situations nowadays that I run into that I've seen where you're just like, oh, that just needs just a little. Cause he was like pulling winch cable and all this shit. And I'm uh-huh. like, dude, like literally you need just a little tug, like just a little boop. And you would be out of. And the 20 was too long. So, well, I could have got a 20 and right. thrown it out there and then been 20 foot away from him. And you know what I mean? But like, right. I don't know. <laughs> like, I literally used like a fucking three foot strap and just hooked it to his bumper and like his back. Like up a tree like saver? A foot. Yeah, it was a yeah. tree saver. And then just backed up like a foot. And I'm like, okay, bump. Done. Yeah. Because he didn't need a lot. No. He wasn't stuck, stuck. No. I feel like a tree saver. He was be wedged used between two rocks. Oh, kind of a thing. Yeah, it was like his bumper was like stuck on the rear, and that's he where he go was forward. at. That's what he was in that one obstacle there in the quarry. Yeah, I remember now. And so that's what I mean. Like I just want like uh, I was like, man, if I could have one of this is like just a little bit longer, like five six foot little strap, just to like, boop. right here you go, just pop it out of there. Yeah, hmm. I feel like that would be more useful. Or if like if I wanted to tow a vehicle back to. Camp, camp, or something like that. I don't need a twenty foot strap, even it's if like you double 10. it up as ten. Yeah, I think like six. But then it doesn't work as good. I, I know, but like I'm not using it. So for you want a like, kinetic tree saver? I don't even. Essentially, yeah. I mean, that's what's going to be like. That's the length. Yeah, I just want a chunk of rope. That's I'm thinking. Like I'm five thinking or ten six foot feet. long. No, I don't want that long. Because I'm like, if you're going from like your, so where do you hook? Do you hook on the axle? Or no, you, you have a. I mean, I got a, a thing on the axle, or you could just wrap a soft shackle around a the front tube there with the winch mount. Right, that's all tied into the frame. Hmm. Well, it actually is the frame. So, unlimited huh. options. Interesting. And then the rear, I've got an axle shackle yeah. tab, and then I've got two D rings. I just feel like tabs. six feet is so short. That's all I needed. Huh? That's all you needed there. Yeah. But like to tow somebody back, six feet. Like you, like you let off the throttle, like bump into you. Go ahead, it's fucking <laughs> it's tube. It's gonna fuck your shit it's up tube, more than it's gonna fuck my tires. Up. Well, that's why I pulled up there to like pull it, and he's like, "Well, it's short." And I'm like, "Are you gonna hit the fucking tube chassis?" Like, <laughs> ooh, you know, like yeah. it's gonna fuck your grill up before it'll fuck up my tube work. Yeah, I think it's so, what you're worried about. That's what I mean. I was like, <laughs> I don't really care. Like, I feel like a ten foot kinetic would be perfect. It probably would be, be great, more, but I don't care. Huh. I just want a little short little, just because I literally was like reached behind my seat and grabbed that tree saver and was like, here you go. Yeah, make that happen. I just want a little Mm. short little gizmo because I had a, I don't know, like a, I might have had a 30 foot Rick kinetic in there. We know you're listening. Oh, yeah. We're going to need you to go ahead and get on a quote for an eight foot T.O.P. kinetic in red. I don't want red. Orange. There we go. 
<laughs> Way more better. No, not in red. I don't really care. How black, whatever. I just a yeah. little, just a short little like kinetic. Five, six foot. You want five or six. I want eight. So let's settle so in the middle of seven an, feet. So you can buy an eight foot one. Then. Let's just do seven. It's a good medium. No. We got to do a bulk buy. Five. I don't feel like he's just going to like order one five foot rope. I feel like he could. Huh. He's Maybe. Gonna, he's going to message us now. So that's one thing you took away from this trip is that you need a I just short want a, I just want just a little strap. short utility strap. But that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to use it. It's a utility kinetic strap. Well, I don't. I, to be honest Do with you, you it kinetic? could be a flat strap. Oh, okay. I just. Well, in that case, he's just going to send you a tree saver. But how long is that? Whatever you want. Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> that, that's not. I a, feel like they sell a six and a ten. Yeah. See, like, I'm fine with that. But and I if also. If you want a five, you just tie a knot in it. Yeah. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to use. Like with a, a flat strap. With a flat strap, it doesn't have kinetic. No. Um, properties. So you could just double over a 10 foot flat strap. Ugh. What? I just, in this like situation, you were like, you're acting like you were doing the work and from the sound of it, you didn't even get out of the rig. I didn't get out of this. I didn't <laughs> take it out of fucking drive. Uh, but that's what I mean. Like, I just want to just, you're, a, like, you're like, Ugh, so much work to little, double it over. Yeah. Like, wait, were you doing it? No. I just don't want so to screw with work. it. I just want to be like, <laughs> and, and then another thing that this came up is I want to come up with some kind of quick way or like a hook or something that I can okay. slide up under my winch, oh, like okay. sneak it up in there somewhere. So you could literally just like, whoop. what? So you can hook what? Hook a strap or something onto. To the winch? No, not the winch. You just like under, under the, the winch. Under the winch plate. Like Oh, you want like a, like a permanent hook. Yeah, that you can just like, like like a monster hook or something like that that's mounted under there, so you can just snatch a hook on or a a strap a on strap it. on it real quick. Yeah, okay. I mean, literally, I just used that's what to Matt do. used to have on the hitch on his. Yeah. Kirk's got some on the front of his, but his shackle mount have that like oh, little, little thing, yep. and mm-hmm. you just hook it over. Yep, because like all the problem is, anytime you're going to use a strap, not anytime. More often than not here as of in the last year or two, uh-huh. anytime you're using a strap, it's that like, oh, it just needs a little pull. Well, in the park that we play in. Yeah. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nobody gets stuck at he's stuck, stuck. Yeah. Now, supposedly they, uh, the other crew, Kyle and Zach, mm-hmm. they were out with their friends mm-hmm. and apparently they got an XJ so stuck down the bottoms it took two Jeeps. Oh, fuck. They should have just called up. my ass. I should over there and got you. No, I should have called Jeremy. He weighs 6,000 pounds. Just tug him out. I got 5,000 pounds of weight and no fucks to give. Like, been yeah, we were, to we were stuck down in the bottoms real bad. We had it buried up, had two X's hooked to it and having a real hard yeah, time. Then this well. white minivan showed up and took us right out. <laughs> <laughs> the minivan motor deluxe, baby. Now, come on. Oh, uh, yes. That's where it comes in, though. Like having that weight. That's when it's handy. Uh-huh. I was telling the story about Matt's Cummins pulling pulling things around in there at that park and it's just like it's so wonderful like that thing just having it around is so handy yes like <clears throat> yeah tow truck on lane seven yep <laughs> like, bring it on over <laughs> yeah uh-huh it's exactly right it's a good and it works time. great for that when's he gonna get that done ah uh, when he stops working so much he's oh, done man. he's done in florida for three weeks I know. uh-huh ridiculous i don't know it's rough uh, couldn't live a life like that all the dollars and no wheeling rig. All the, to all the dollars that. and no wheeling. <laughs> and no time to build a wheeling rig with and it. And you're like, damn. Uh, it's, a, it's a hard decision to make. So. So. Yeah. So I want a little baby utility strap. Okay. What else did you do? What, um, else, what else was your take on this weekend? What else it, did you have I don't know. It wasn't a bad trip. I didn't think so. I thought I'd it was a good trip. I get about three fucks less about the window. That's just, That's the only thing you broke. Yeah. So, like, you broke that. You got another day's worth of wheeling in on the rig. It ran good. Mm-hmm. It ran much better. Yeah. Right. Uh, it needs a stall. I don't know what it all needs. It needs. I think it needs a stall in gears. I fail I to like think that the gears thing. are going to help as much as I hope Why? they are. I don't know. I honest to God, really? I don't know. I'm just. Four tens to five thirty eights. Yeah. It's a huge jump. I know, but it's like. They're it's not going to know till you do it, I guess. Jump. Yeah. But. Well, mine five thirty eights and mine. We were coming back, so I have a hundred and ninety horsepower. We're coming back. I had the locker engaged. I engaged the locker when we were out on the sand mm-hmm. coming down the run. 
And uh, I was just cruising along like 15 mile an hour or so, staying in it, dude. And I think just started just, just drifting sideways from a roll. Yep. I was like, that's awesome. So and, I, and, and maybe gears will help. Oh, yeah. That much. Huge difference. But I don't know. I don't know either. I'm on 40s with 538s and a 272 to 1 with 190 horsepower. You are on 43s mm-hmm. with hopefully 538s mm-hmm. and a 30 low gear. Mm-hmm. And you have around 300 horsepower, supposedly. In theory, yours should do, yours should be able to turn the tires over easier than mine does. Yeah, with gears. With gears. Yeah. Just with the gear up. If you put four tens on mine, my Jeep would be so pissed off. And that's maybe upset. that's where I'm at. Yeah. I think that's what it, I think that's where it is where it's at. And you said, I know you were talking about not wanting to go up to gears until you get your rear steer axle yeah. ready, yep. which makes sense. Like why do gears twice if you don't have to, but what do you think your, uh, what do you think a reasonable timeline on that is? So have I you- dropped off my tube to the machine shop this week, okay. last week, last week. It's Monday. supposed to be done here tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay. So I'm going to pick that up and then I need to measure it all out, make a cut. Mm-hmm. And what are they doing with the two? They turn it down one side of it? Yes. They're turning down both ends. Both ends. And then you're going to cut it in the center and, and then, then flip it and then mm-hmm. voila, put it all together. I, um, I ordered my high steer. Weld on high steer arms today. I keep forgetting that the tube lengths are going to be about the same length. Yes. Did It'll you decide? Close. Did you decide that you're going to offset the tube lengths so the shafts are the same length? Yes. So you are. So both rear shafts will be interchangeable. The inners, yes. Yes. Yep. Well, in the outers too, then. Well, yeah. 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 The, the outers is a stock. The rear shafts yeah. will be fully interchangeable. Yes. I'll which carry will be nice. One shaft for either side of the rear. If you carry a spare. Yeah, well, yeah, if I can carry one, but yeah, uh, that's obviously, my goal. I'm just gonna run another set of Brannocks in those. Mm-hmm. That'll be an easy turnaround on those. Yep. So, what's the big spend? The Ram. Oh, I'm uh, waiting for Chris to get back to me on a price because he got me a price and I said shipped question mark and he hit, says like I'll have to check on that. Is that why we got the whole? Are you working this weekend? <laughs> last weekend maybe you're like are you working today or are you just oh yeah. yeah i know what i want i'm getting a psc it's a two and a half inch psc ram so is that a match for the front in size uh the front's actually two and a quarter okay rear's gonna be two and a half because i'd like to upgrade the front to two and a half okay just because that's the- so you're banking you're you're moving towards what you want the match set to be yeah i got you is uh and so with the rear steer okay so you're gonna make it fully functional right out of the gate yep uh, are you going to buy the motor setup? Oh, wait a minute. You said you spent a bunch of money with Berkey this week. Yeah, I'm in like $120. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> I mean, that's a bunch of money. You didn't, you didn't spend like two grand. Oh, no, God. I didn't buy his fucking <laughs> kit. That's whew, the uh, auto center. Yeah, the auto center set. Maybe one day. Uh, but you do need a pump, right? Already got it. Oh, you already got Oh, that's right. Because you had a setup already that you had sourced borrowed yeah <laughs> yeah i've per got se. the electro uh, you hydro have, so you already have pump your pump reservoir set up okay so you already have that all you need is the controller now were you talking about running a mechanical mechanical what controller uh valve for steering the rear uh so right now it's just electronic it's literally like you push a button it's in the integrated in the pump yeah okay it's so you already have a manifold valves. and all that's already turned it's so, all in one so you're literally gonna mount the pump on the rig Plumb your lines to your hydraulic, your RAM, and then run a thing to your switch. Uh, and then, they like it right now, it has the like wire with like a Toggle. button. It's like a oh, it's a button push up, push down kind of concept. Okay. Which and you could bounce sideways and make it up. Well, I'm going to wire that into just a toggle switch on a joystick or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Just and pick up a joystick just, style. Whoop, whoop. Yep. You could probably get a, uh, a electronic joystick for a snowplow. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's what they ran in mats originally. Yeah, I'm going to get yep. some kind of electronic return Doesn't to center, center so you can just bump it and then it goes back to center. Oh, oh, interesting. Joystick. How would that work? It's like a momentary switch. 
I mean, it's not, it's not going to actually return the axle, but the, the joist, like the, Oh yeah. You know, like like it won't, you yeah, don't yeah, flip yeah. it to the left and it goes max Stays. left. Yeah. So you just gotcha. kind of yeah, bump yeah. it, bump it. Bump and I think it. that's how the, the yeah. ones are for the toggles for a snowplow are. Yeah. They always return. And Matt, you might check with Matt mm-hmm. cause he's got his and he's, sw- we're switching that out for his new toggle. Yep. So he's got one. Mm-hmm. Um, might save you a buck or two. Yep. And then, uh, but yeah, that's, I'm just going to like a momentary, not a return to center, but like a momentary. So really toggle switch thing, but you gotta, you gotta order a truss. Uh, I'm going to build one. Okay. I have this, it's a two by two, like quarter inch wall tube. Uh So I'm going to do a, like a, you shouldn't cut out of it. V ish thing Mm -hmm. over the top. And then I'm going to do a tube across the bottom and then it'll be plated for the Ram mount. And then the back will be plated down to the pinion. So it'll be tied in front to back mm-hmm. with two things. It seems to be the going. And then you just mount your um, your new lower axle tab or your new link tabs. New link tabs, new sway bar tabs, tabs. new shock, shock tabs, tabs. Well, that's new nice. limit strap tabs. That. Yeah. Yeah. So you got a few things to do there. Do you have all that metal stuff already ordered or mm-hmm. in stock? No. Okay. So we got a little ways. What are you thinking? 90 days? Yeah, I don't know. It'll depend on really my plan is to get the tube done, get the measurements all done and cut up and then get it kind of tacked together. Mm -hmm. Make sure I got the wheel mounting surface distance correct. Mm -hmm. And then I need to order a set of ball joint eliminators, too, for the upper ball joints. I can't remember what company. Um I just saw Corey order to Yeah, set. he ordered them from the wrong company. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, I see. He ordered them from Beep you and tell not me? Ball Joint Eliminator. Yeah, I commented <laughs> that. I said you should have bought them from Nick Barna from Ball Joint Eliminator. Okay. It's a bigger bolt than the uh, than Beep. Okay. The opposing brand. Yeah. I see. It's bigger hardware. So, so you know where you're getting yours from already and all that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What do those run? Ball Joint Eliminators. Uh, a couple hundred bucks. A pair? Yeah, for a oh, pair. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So you're, yeah, we're, we're getting there. You're getting there on the rear steer. I'm excited for the rear steer to be done. Cause that's going to be one more thing checked off the list. And then we can do gears. At yeah, the same and then time. I got to order my gears from Chris. Yeah. She's going to be a mean mother, uh, a uh, mean mother liquor. As sticky would say. Mother liquor. It's a mean we mother liquor. Pay him royalties. Now that we just said mother liquor. That's all right. I got it. I got, I got to send him a check. Um, what's that? What's that freight, uh, freight service you use? Oh yeah, the custom shipping services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. Well, I'll be sure to send him a royalties check via that. Uh so the other thing uh with two hundred and eighty five dollars for the BJ eliminators. BJs. The BJEs. Yep. Do you think that you will have this thing re-geared, rear steered, and ready to rock and roll for the first the season opener for point one. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And when yeah. is that? March twentieth. March twentieth. Harrisburg, Illinois, folks. Make She'll sure you done. get the F there. Yep. She'll have rear steer. Rear steer gears. Gears. Stall converter. I don't know about stall. Camshaft. I don't know about cam. Supercharger. Doubt it. Aluminum six point two. Might happen. I might make a really <laughs> bad decision. Uh, <laughs> he's just like he's like yeah sold everything but the buggy's dope <laughs> i have no house but that buggy dope. I drove the <laughs> drove the buggy here yes <laughs> uh, they're meeting me at the park with a new set of stickies yes I got like a sticky <laughs> trailer like service crew that follows you around I'm like drove 15 miles on the street new tires I supposedly, so like Matt was saying that he thought you'd get like 500 miles out of a set of trips on the road. I uh, think that is so low of a number. I'm like, there's no way. 500 miles. That bald. shit is soft. That's insane. That's soft. That's man. literally you driving down to Harrisburg and then driving back. Yeah. <laughs> I would not be shocked. Like, yep. They're bold. Like, I would just, I just want to see that. I want to. I want to find somebody to sponsor me a set of st- stickies so we can like make that a thing. Like, and here's the mileage that you would get from a sticky on the road. I would like to know. Yeah. Because like, it would be fun because it's so fast. If it was actually 500 miles, you could time lapse that and literally watch the tread go, watch away. it wear off. <laughs> yeah. 
That would be awesome. <sighs> what are you looking at now? What you got? Uh, I'm trying to convince myself that gears are the right way to go. Gears are certainly the right way to go. Everyone I just right don't now. I know if every, they're going to make that much of a difference. Everyone, please message Ian and tell him to that CBAP WYL. <laughs> That needs to be a fucking sticker, man. I want to make that sticker. <laughs> and <laughs> a CBAP sticker. <laughs> do can, we have to pay royalties on that? Nah, I'm fucking making them. No, if we fuck, do it first. Fuck them. Okay. <laughs> um, that's what I say about it. I think that gears are going to make a bigger difference than this. It's going to make a bigger difference than you would think. And I think that you should, if you don't believe me, then you should ask all the people that well, are listening. it's not that I don't believe you. I just, right. I just, until I, I put I get it. No, I'm 538s with you. in that rig and yep. then go wheeling, I'm not going to be convinced yep. one way or the other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm over the hoping for a good quality, successful <laughs> results phase of my life, I think. What are some of the bouncers running that are like comp bouncers? For what are they what, gears? gears? I know? honestly don't even know off the top of my head. Really? Yeah. So we don't know, like, when, when Berkey builds an axle, we don't know what he's putting in for gears. I can find out. Obviously. But like, it'd be pretty easy just to make a phone call. Like, yo, yeah. Sean, what are you running for gears in your rig? Yep. Timmy, what's, what's, what gears are you running? I don't know if he'll tell you. He'll probably tell you. He would tell you. Yeah. Uh, Either way, like, I think maybe you should do that. You have the contacts. Yeah. Like just hit up a couple of bouncer guys. I'm like, what they're are you? What's your problem They're running fucking 800. Well, that's fine. 1600 horsepower. And shit. you can take that into consideration, but you can find out like, okay, they're making, they're running 800 horsepower, but they're also running 513 gears. Yeah. You're like, okay, obviously this is a common denominator or maybe they're running four tens. See, and they like get a little faster than I would go. Right. I tried to do bouncer things and threw a fucking serpentine belt. <laughs> and then my wife said, no more race car things. Oh, so, okay. What were you doing? I don't remember. Oh, you went up that wall oh, and then you kind of blah, blah, back to the- stayed in it. And I didn't run <laughs> out of it. Oh, fucking, really? You got to the top and just stayed in well, around the corner? I didn't completely stay into it. I was like, you were like, oh, I should get back into it. And I was uh-huh. like, no, this is a stupid idea. No, but do it anyway. And then like, no, this is stupid. I don't do it. And then it was, it was smoked through that fucking Mondo water puddle. Yeah, I think that's what And then did. I was like, boy, this, uh, this this is not fucking steering at all. Um, oh, no. Ooh. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Because well, you lose your steering and everything. So. You're like, Eh, 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 yep. eh, eh. <laughs> uh, yeah well yeah it got really hard you're like that's a good oh. indicator i like that but the problem is i hit that water so hard that it like splashed all that water god. up so it was a bunch of steam coming off yeah. the exhaust and everything and you know so i'm like oh my god i thought the engine like exploded so with the hydro boost yeah you have a few pumps of the brakes before you run out of pressure because i like oh, at really? no time was like oh my god the brakes are fucked because <laughs> i was like i'm gonna keep fucking going like i don't like that what that like as soon as you lose a belt, you have no brakes. Well, see, it charged accumulator. So I mean, you oh, have some oh, you light. have some. Yeah, you have okay. probably a couple, four or five, like full enough to get you stopped. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't know that. And then after that, it's just like a manual brake pedal anyway. So I mean, right, it's not, still brakes, just not as good. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's uh, neat. Yeah. How are the brakes in that thing when they're manual? You know. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, I can tell you. I know they're complete trash. The pedal feel is so different than any vehicle I've ever driven. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Why? Because the pedal is so soft. Oh, really? And it yep. just locks them up. Oh, fuck yeah. Yep. Oh, fuck yeah. That's buddy. what happens when she's all ported and tuned yeah. up there. Like it literally like made to stop them 43s. Dude, it's effortless pedal. Which would you need? And it fucking like it, it's an odd feeling because you're just pushing on this pedal and you're like, oh, and you're yeah. like, oh, you stomp it and it just does an endo. I'm, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, uh, okay then. But uh, it's not, yeah, it's not a bad problem to have. No, it's yeah. just an interesting problem. You expect to have and, to like stand on it and it doesn't, and you're like, you just, well, I'm used uh-uh. to the days where you're like two foot on the brake pedal yeah, and yeah, you're going downhill and it's still going, yeah. I'm like, yep, nope. Here you just like one foot and just kind of get boy, know. that'd be nice. Yeah, it is. It's not a cheap option. I would like to have that for low key since like when I tried like back off the trailer. So there's the fun thing. 
when I'm aired up all the way and back off the trailer, mm -hmm. there it just kind of pushes through the brakes coming off as like really? rolls off the trailer. So it doesn't do that like off road. You don't have problems with but it. But like if you do the same, the I did the same thing at the house with it five psi, mm -hmm. and I can just stop. Like yeah. I can stop with the tire hanging off the trailer. Mm. No problem. Mo but contact, I think, mo better. I think it's yeah. I think it's because the tire is like enveloping the trailer. Yep. But anyway, uh, yeah, I like it. So like, I don't know. Did you learn? I don't. What else do I want to ask you about the weekend? I got four or five solid hours of seat time in a rig, which yeah. is always no a complaints plus there. for thirty five dollars to get in. Yeah. Um, mine almost drove basically when I got back. Kind, I mean, drove. See, and that's the thing. Like, I literally <laughs> unloaded this with like no issues that you other have. than a fucking window that's not there. Yeah, anymore. and a belt alignment issue that was. Ah, there. I fucking had that when I was going, but uh, I just. I'd, I've never been so meh. Really? After a wheeling just, trip. Just you went wheeling and you're just like, yeah, went wheeling. Yeah. Do you feel like you still need to go wheeling? Is that how it is? I don't know. So like, do we need to go? Like, I don't have mine on the trailer anymore, but. The problem I don't think Are is Are we going to try to make it to the cliffs? Are you going to try to make it to the cliffs? Is that even a thing? Do you want to like talk, go with me? I've talked shit about the cliffs since I knew where the cliffs was. I know, but that so doesn't mean shit. I feel like sometime I should go so I can justifiably talk shit from well, now yeah, to yeah. the so end can, of my life. Well, you can talk shit and be like, not be the guy that's like, oh, well, that park fucking sucks. Well, I, no, I never went to it. Yeah. I just heard stories. Exactly. But some but of the guys that live up there say that it's pretty cool. Ah, well, fuck if they all live next to the Badlands, it'd be the best park you've ever fucking what been to. Uh, maybe I don't know. And reference episode what thirty nine? Yeah, there are no shitty off road. I parks. mean, it is true. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I but I do. I definitely want to make it up there before they shut it down to vehicles. You got like it's I like said that to Jess. Days. I said that to Jess. I was like, I got thirty days to make it up there. I was like, how am I going to make it up there? I was like, I don't have a tow pig, and she's like, just drive it up there. I'm like, God, I love you. <laughs> Winning. Um, I'm probably just not gonna say it on air. I'm not going. 39 is not the correct episode, so don't do that. That's the buggy inspection program. Which I would love to do that right now because I am at the point where like oh, so I gotta rework my rear winch setup, which we already have discussed before on this podcast. Uh -huh. Um, I didn't even remember what episode it was, but basically when I put my rear winch in, it's too low. And back, I need to slide it. I don't think it's really going to go up much. It's going to go forward up under the like cooler rack. This is the winch? Yes, the rear winch. The Oh, the rear winch. It's going to get slid forward. Uh, and what for? So you can have more up travel? Yeah. I got you. So you were bouncing off it pretty hard. There's a bar that goes across the bottom there. She bent. <laughs> the link bars oh. go like the the... Upper link mount is yeah. just behind that bar uh -huh. on the axle. So the link bars are do one of these. Okay. That bottom of that tube is like. Has two little humps in it. I don't know if they're <laughs> little, but they're, uh, they got, they're they, deformed. How'd that, how'd that bump stop feel? There was a couple of them where you're like, oh, damn. Because <laughs> there was a few where that, like the, the water puddles would be frozen like it'd be like a frozen ring uh -huh. and the center was like blown out so it would be like a solid drop oh yeah and when you were bombing down the road right. it was the front would drop and you about the time you Whoa. figured it out that rear just goes boom, boom and slaps it, and mm. you're like oh solid uh, i also yeah rough. so i gotta get some bump stops put in but that's my whole plan is to slide that winch back and then slide my bump stops right in there and then they'll, they'll land right on the top of the new truss for the steer axle so i'm looking forward to getting that all kind of lined out um because it works now it's just not i know what i need to change to tweak it to make it better yeah um dude why can't I find it? Holy cow. Good God. Way back there. Does that not feel like it was fairly recent? Which one? The uh, No the, shitty off-road parks. It was probably 12. No. I just picked it. It feel like it was that far ago? I don't know. No, no man. Episode so. 12, I think it was a Berkey soda. <laughs> Boom. There you go. <laughs> episode 12 was... Nope. Crawler off-road. No, nah, see there 11 was the Berkey soda. Okay. Uh, <laughs> episode 20... 28. Nah, that was Ian Goes Off-Road. Episode, I just had it, it was 23. Episode 23, No Shitty Off-Road Parks. Holy 
shit, that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. It just blows my mind. I didn't think it was that long ago. Well, that's what happens when you party hard. That was that was double. Like we have doubled our episodes since then, yep. and then some. Almost, yeah. Good God, that's Tons insanity. Over here busting out content. Huh, you're not kidding. Oh, and that's just regular episodes. That does not include the. Uh, the old the, the minis, the minis the we pod- did or the Patreon, the Patreon episodes. Oh my god, we're probably well over a hundred. Yeah, we're probably well, probably creeping up on a hundred anyway, with all that included. But anyway, um, back to so I just don't know how to feel wheeling. about this. Yeah, I was very yeah. anticlimactic for me. Like I don't, I don't know what why. Yeah, I feel like we jumped right into what we did last like <laughs> what we did last week which is normally what the like intro but that's also like the main topic this week yeah that's all one we didn't do a patreon a uh, welcome patrons well welcome the noobs welcome vance and kyle to the patreon appreciate you guys hey yes and uh vance vance looking at you <laughs> get your looking truck deep. done what is it you know you're gonna make me go back and look at a picture okay and there's like nine thousand photos probably Ooh. between is this in a messenger or is this on facebook yeah dustin sent me a picture of it oh i got gotcha. you she a bad rig back in the day yeah hell yeah so uh, yeah two two new patrons which is pretty awesome we appreciate that both of them jumped into the old uh giveaway tier so that was pretty cool. Tell them about the giveaway tier for those who are not uh, in the party. If you don't know what the giveaway tier is, if you're new here, uh, the giveaway tier is a quarterly giveaway that we do with a $500 value where we're giving away something to someone. And for every month that you are a patron between those uh, quarterly giveaways, you uh, every, for every $10 that you patronize with is an entry. So by being in the giveaway tier at $10, you get uh, one entry per month. So if you're in it from the last giveaway, when we get to the next giveaway, you'll have three entries. Yes. Yes. So that is the giveaway tier. Uh, Last month, we gave away to last month, like last week, uh, Corey won and he got the... Oh man, is that a J truck? Mm-hmm. God, it's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Uh, Corey won, and he opted to go with the complete off road gift card. Yes. So he's going to get himself, I believe, a new set of gears. Nice, right? On us, on the, on the, the giveaways. So you like the white wagon wheels with that? Ooh, I, yes, probably. With Maybe. the look of the whole rig and all that, because I love them. I think so. It would be even better if they were like white wagon wheel bead locks. Oh my yes. You could do a <laughs> weld on bead lock right, on those. Weld on. And then powder coat the whole thing mm-hmm. or just paint them, powder coat paint them white. Them, paint them, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's running a similar radius arm setup like I'm running. Mm-hmm. So what does he run for a front axle? I hmm. don't actually remember. Interesting. What are these 39 inch tires, you think? I believe so. Okay, okay, okay. It's a cool look. It's got like a military esque bed on the back of it yep, it's like a an military M, like an trailer series. yep oh it's a military trailer i believe that's what oh, that they just took the axles out from anything and stuffed it on the bed i think so it fits so well yeah dude i love it i i think it's gonna be badass and i want to see it that, done he needs to paint that bed to match that cab do it i'm a fan hell yeah look at that look at that dope ass approach angle mm-hmm yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's pushed way gangster. out there what is it like it's pushed i quote air quote push way out there but at the same time, it looks proportionate to it the was perfect. It fits the yep. wheel well excellently. Yep. yep. Departure angle is not terrible. Nice. That's a cool rig. I'm ready. I'm excited to wheel with him. That's what I'm saying. Like he needs to get it done. Get her dead. Doesn't get, look like he's that far off. Get her done. I can't tell if there's an engine or anything in it, but as far as the uh, wheel sitting up there, it's getting there. Leaving the bed alone, painting the cab. No Tan color. Paint thy bed. With a white roof, then going to distress it all so it has patina. Oh, okay. Super 60 with a 14 bolt and an LS with an automatic transmission. Nice. He's uh, 39.5 IROX. He's building mm-hmm. it up to do Ultimate Adventure stuff with it. Hopefully UA, obviously, but like. Yeah, that's cool. That'll definitely be a, a contender. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, it's a badass rig, and that's, that's why the thing. I, like, I really it's, hope it's it gets different. done. 
Definitely different. Do it. And it is a J truck. It's not a uh, like an M series. I don't. It looked like a J truck cab. Sure. I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, you're not a Jeep guy. Nope. So anyway, it just fucking looks badass, and I want to see it done. So and that's Vance's oh, truck, our yes. new patron. So go over there to the uh, Patreon or Trail Riders page and tell Vance to post up some cool pictures, all the pictures, and make them now. good progress photos because we want to wheel with you. We want the pictures now. Um, is Kyle cutting? Speaking of Patreon members, new ones. Mm-hmm. Is Kyle planning on like? cutting the shit out of that jeep the black one yes i don't know why like, i don't know he said he was doing something as far as like taking something apart or you know working on this one or whatever and i didn't know if that meant like fucking one ton swap or like i think it's in the like it's in the the plans. plan book but i don't know that it's in the plan book like right now gotcha okay um but i know I he said he bought the other one yeah and he was like oh well, it's this a nice one's down i have that one you know and i didn't know if that meant i think like, he's gonna daily the other one oh, so not okay. like wheel it he was talking about doing the other one, running the other one just as a daily. Yep. Um, because right now he drives his, I think, uh, his Ford. Okay. And he's like, so instead of driving the Ford all winter long, you know, back and forth, I can drive the Cherokee, the other Cherokee instead. Yes. Be a nice little commuter, you know, oh, not yeah. have to drive a big truck all the time. Yep. So uh, I think that was his plan. He said it was a nice, really nice shape. The other one that he just picked up was. Yeah, that's what he said. It was super it. clean, but that's why I didn't know if he was doing like one ton swap. He's got some like plans, I think, him. for the black one, but I don't know what Dude. they are. I think the plans right now should be tires. Should be or one tons. I mean, I guess. Are you going to run those tires on one tons? Not 30s, not bald ass 36s. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so if he goes one tons, he's got to buy bigger well, he tires. He was talking about while we were there, he was talking about 40s. Uh, yes, to when because so Josh and I were standing inside, standing there talking, and then Kyle was talking about getting a set of 40s, and I was gonna try to get him to buy Jeremy's, but apparently Jeremy already had a buyer for his the patties, yeah, Ugh. so they possibly are gone. They'd be a fine tire to mock up with, though, yeah, or you know what I mean, to set up for buy what you want and send it, yeah, no, but you're talking about a probably a eight hundred dollar difference well yeah you know what i mean yeah not that that's well, you a, could always buy I mean, a mock-up and that's sell just them it, again yeah. too i told him i got Derek's tires yep i was like if you need a mock-up 40 i have there those the old uh oh what are those the, the uh, pro comps oh the pro comps yep. yeah and uh they're low on tread but i mean they i was gonna do a mock-up with them and then run them for a season yep they got enough you could even cut them with a with a hot oh, knife yeah you could and get a pretty good life out of them probably um yeah, I just yeah. didn't know if he had like major, like soon one ton plans or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the plan is for him. We'll you can ask him. I'm going to ask him. I don't think you're going to have to. Wow. I think you just did. Oh, well. <laughs> Host up your info. I feel a message coming um, on. A massage. Speaking of, you said Josh. Yes, sir. Dude, that that thing fucking just I gets love it. down. It's so beautiful. We kind of snuck off unintentionally slash intentionally. Like, you guys did? He kind of went off on one direction and I followed him and nobody else followed us. And I'm okay. like, okay, well, I guess we're going to go off and do like other stuff. Hardcore, no <laughs> shit box wheel and stuff like just, like stand aside shit boxes. The, the, the real and rigs are here kind of thing. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's a fucking I don't feel like you can say that to Kyle, though. Kyle. I feel no, like I think he accepts it. What? That his his XJ is an XJ? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but he just gives her the full send. I didn't say he doesn't because that was goddamn awesome. Like he would say, you would say something to him and he'd be like, oh, is that right? Yeah. Did you see him go up that one ledge backwards? Yes. I'm like, I'm down. That's the down. He's over here just like beating on her. Get up. I'm like, my God. I loved it. It was beautiful. Fuck. Crazy ass people. I loved it. I literally turned and looked. I turned and looked at one of the guys that we were with. I can't remember who it was now. I'm like, people are nuts. Love it. (laughs) Warning. Uh, anyway, but, but so that's you two what I mean. Off. So we snuck off to do like hardcore wheeling shit, I guess. Right. I don't know. We didn't, but we did. Yeah. We um, went to go get some bigger obstacles. So we went and did uh, the backside of the backside of whatever the fuck that one I think trail it's purple is. now. I don't know. If I'm thinking of the same spot you're talking about where the big rock's at. Yeah. That real tall one is. Yep. Yeah. So we went and ran around that up mm-hmm. on the top side of that and then ran up on the, in that like ledge there. I haven't been there since last January no last February mm-hmm. when we went out with pig for the first for, for the first time I did that obstacle and it looked pretty okay 
Yep. And I've been wanting to hit it ever since just to like a revisit, kind of see how things go. Cause that's a kind of, that's a little like a V notch E kind of spot, but it's vertical. It's fairly vertical, you know? Yep. So you either go up it or you don't. Yep. And, uh, I've been wanting to rehit it. Just kind of see how things go. Keep forgetting to go there. Yep. Like just literally like, Oh, I should, Oh, forgot. Yeah. He took off going that way. And I was like, right, we'll go that way. So how did so do? that all did great. Just walk up. He had to, yeah, I didn't walk it, but he had to, two I think PSI. a couple, two, <laughs> two, I think it was like, he, I don't think he had the ass into quite in the right spot that he wanted to. Cause mm-hmm. he started playing on it and getting up there and the front end kind of started getting a little light. Uh huh. And so he backed up and moved over, I don't know, half a foot or whatever. And then, uh, walked right up there. I mean, it looked fucking gorgeous while oh, we were sitting there going, Oh my God. Yeah. You know, like I'm like, I should have took a damn picture of that. And my wife not got that, a picture, but yeah. like, not that that thing's an Instagram queen, like in terms of like, it actually does. He actually does wheel it pretty oh, hard. Yeah. Like, it looks but at the same time, it's shit. so gorgeous. Yes. It's so shiny. It's low. I love it. What do you think? And so we were talking about red be- red bead locks versus gold bead locks gold. on that rig. You think in gold? Yep. So he's got that on his driver's fender. He has that little straight out of fucks. Yep. Sticker. And I'm like, oh, man, if these bead locks were gold. And I love them red. Yep. But at the same time, like if they were gold. Because that black is black so and gold deep. is just. Yep. Mm, just so classy. Um, but yeah, I would love to follow that rig around for a while. We can do it. No, I know a guy who knows a guy. I know a guy who knows a guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because it was fun. It was cool to watch him wheel it and then also be able to like wheel with someone. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like we yeah. could follow each other around right. and not have problems. So that was cool. So you're saying it's nice not to break. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what happened to us up in the rock garden. So Jeremy and I were in the rock garden and we were doing some video, shooting some video footage of everybody kind of going through the rock garden. And then everybody went by and I thought that Jeremy and I were going to pick up and keep following you guys. Mm-hmm. And then Jeremy moved forward about a hundred feet and saw another spot that he wanted to, to video in. Yep. So he set his rig up. And then drove through it. And then I drove through behind him. And then we picked up his, you know, picked up his camera and then moved down the way. Well, by the time we did that, you guys were long gone. Yeah. You had like, high well, we assumed it. y'all you were going to grab our shit and catch Well, that's up. what we kind of thought. And yeah. then, boy, it didn't work that no, way. No, no. And so Jeremy and I kind of feeling like this is the perfect, like perfect air time to do that. Do that. We just literally kept setting up the cameras time mm-hmm. and time again down that rock crawl yep and then we looped back around that's when i called you to yep. see where you were at and you're like oh we made a loop back around I'm like well whatever we're just gonna kind of make our way through the woods and see what we can find so that's what i did i made my we we made our way through the woods set up the cameras a few more times through there got some more footage and then uh i ended up taking my camera and mounting it to the hitch in the rear oh, really? facing backwards at jeremy huh. and i got about 40 minutes of footage of him following me through the park that'd be kind of cool oh yeah i cannot wait to see i was watching on my phone while i was recording some of it and so like on the rocks was pretty cool but i didn't i would like pull forward like 100 feet or so and then i would stop and let jeremy come to me yeah because i didn't want like the camera to be like wiggling around the whole time so like you're you know you're watching it wiggle as he's like coming towards you so like it wouldn't i didn't feel like it would give the same feel as him driving yep well then i turned on the the app on my phone i started watching it the um the st- the image stabilization in the seven is good enough that it was like going through the rocks with like a gimbal kind of a concept. <laughs> yeah, with almost a gimbal yes. feel. So I was like, Oh, that's so rad. I don't know how gimbly it is. I can't wait to get on the camp on the computer and look Let's at it. Let's check it out. But, uh, but yeah, so we got a bunch of that footage should be pretty that's good. That's what you need. You need a gimbal mount on the inside back. the re- Well, you could do something oh, yeah. either like inside the back hatch, mm-hmm. like looking out the glass. Yeah. Or we just open the hatch. Yeah. Or even something that like, I don't know. Cause you've got the hitch, something you could put in the hitch. Yeah. That like comes uh-huh. up and then like hangs with like a gimbal mount, a gimbal That'd mount. Sick. Yep. Cause you uh, wouldn't have to be at anything like super strong or stout yeah, or anything. Yeah. Well, yeah for a GoPro. Would yeah. Be bad. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, it's not like you got to use like a hitch tubing. You know, I think like some of those shit. gimbal mounts too. Also have the quarter 20 on the bottom of them. So you mm-hmm. can put them on a tripod. So you might be able to just put like, yeah, just build like a little steel tube with a quarter 20 stud sticking stud. on it. Yeah. Huh. That'd be interesting. I didn't think about that, but nonetheless, um, cause you could do the same the, thing with on your front bumper. Yeah. Like do a, oh, like yeah. a roll cage, uh, tube clamp 
Right. I like the two piece mm-hmm. clamp, bolt something on there with a little thing with a stud. And then you could put that on the front and do the same thing. Oh, but yeah. it would also look kind of fucking cool if Looking it was at shooting you. at you, too. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. All of the views. Uh, there's some cool fucking just buy views. buy some more cameras. Yes. Um, so we did. So we did through the rock garden where it was on the hitch uh, face back at him, which was pretty neat. I'm excited to see this. Me now. too. And then uh, then we got out on the trail on the hard road that goes past the old uh, elevator or whatever that thing is there. Yep. Well, there's all that standing water and all the holes. Yep. As I was going through the water, the water was like coming up behind the camera, like splashing up huh. behind the camera. Yeah. I bet that was There's cool. some cool stuff. And like Jeremy was chasing me through. Through the water. Like down through those areas. Yep. And so like. He would be far back, and all of a sudden he'd come running up on me. Huh. Had a couple close calls. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, I don't know, I'm I don't sure know his how wife the, appreciated that. Yeah, I don't one, know how man. on the brakes he was yeah. on a couple of them, but I know that I was like, I was like watching what he was doing in the camera. Yeah. And I would like take off. Uh huh. And then I would decide to slow down. And by that time, he would decide he was going to catch up. Yeah. And so, like, all of a sudden he was catching up, I think, a lot faster than maybe he had yep. thought he was going to be because I'd let out of the gas. I'm sure his wife <laughs> was loving that. There's some good ones, but you had to be so close for the camp for his Jeep to fill the scene. Yeah. He had to be six feet from the back bumper. Yep. So like you had to run up and get close, but uh, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, videoing with, with Jeremy, I told Jeremy, I was like, we, you and I just need to plan a day to just, do just that. the two of us show up to the park in the morning, Yep. meaning noon. <laughs> many noon uh we need to show up at the park and just spend an entire day just rolling around getting rogue ass footage yep. and set up a few different cameras maybe one off of the hitch on mine and one off the front bumper on his or something you know i mean that sort of thing but see i think you could come up with some cool shit like that like yeah. that roll cage tube mm-hmm. you could because you got those things that come down off the side of your bumper tube yeah. that you could stick one of those out and hang a gimbal oh. out oh. like kind of like off the, oh, front the tire corner. would just decimate it. it yeah but if you're so doing much, you have to do a dry day if you're if you put a fucking a wet case on that that'd be then, fine and then if it's not like super wet out uh that'd be some cool like you said a dry day or something like that dude that'd, that'd be a cool, cool perspective i have to look into that see what kind of gimbals i can find that have a quarter 20 or a mount on the bottom or a way that i can mount it yeah because even if it doesn't have a mount on the bottom i could probably get a piece of tube and just slide it in there yeah put a little pin on the side that just um uh like a little wing nut mm-hmm basically a wing bolt that'll tighten down and just kind of cinch it in cinch there. Cinch it in. Maybe fine. So, I mean, I think you can That'd make something sweet. work pretty cheap and hmm. and neat to get some cool different perspectives. Yeah, that maybe nobody's used. Hmm, yep. I like that. Mm-hmm. Very, very interesting. So. Like, I really hate to say it, but you could do like a thing that's real long and then comes up that looks back. Uh-huh. So you could be like on the Jeep. far, like almost like a chase <laughs> perspective looking back at you. They make rigs like that. Oh, yeah. I'm, um, I don't doubt it. But. For the GoPros and stuff. And then like they make in the editing software, they make it so you can like draw out the rig itself, mm-hmm. like the um that holds the camera. Yeah. They make that for like the cars, the cars that do like drift stuff and like. They make those for like DSLR cameras. Oh, I bet. Full-size yeah. cameras to hang off the car. You've seen the vi- the car. You've seen this. The pictures where like the background's blurred, the tires and wheels are blurred, but the car is perfectly crisp. Mm-hmm. That's they use that kind of rig for that. Yeah, yeah. So I think you sweet. could just do it and make a GoPro little GoPro mount, so uh-huh. whatever. But pretty sweet. Cheap stuff, just to you know, mm-hmm. do the thing, do cool stuff. I like it. So. <laughs> all right so all right so we um what do you need to upgrade that's what i want to ask you i want to ask you what you need to upgrade to the list from this hold, trip hold, like hold the phone what you got? we gotta fill them in on why this all of a sudden just abruptly like because i don't think i'm gonna be able to stitch this together okay if i can't so if i can't stitch this together here's what this is we just had a hilarious conversation on a phone about an about a sales on facebook it's wonderful if you want to hear it www patreon.com forward slash total offer a podcast yes you must type it in you can't search for us but you can type it in go there give us one dollar you will get to listen to what oh, just I swear happened. To God, i'll pay the doc i will pay for your fucking dollar like i will pay just you so you, can a dollar so you can listen to that that's how glorious that was i will pay your dollar I, I literally have to stitch that i have to cut that out because that cannot be on the podcast it went dark very quickly 
<laughs> and I'm done with fucking idiots on the on the internet. <laughs> I'm just done with them. So anyway, I feel like I, I did I here? win that? <laughs> I it's a bit, oh I don't know. How yeah. do you come back? I don't know. Either way, go to Patreon to find out. I just want to know if I, I just I just want to know that I won. Mike. I think so. That last yeah. comment. Yeah, I don't think there's a much you can come up, up top that. Like, if you're not in unless a he comes back group. and like I'll throw in an extra ten for those. Yeah, <laughs> might be a good deal. Then. Um, if you're not in the Patreon group and you need a dollar, like I swear to God, I will send you a dollar because that is that I will send you a dollar. That was glorious. That was worth. <laughs> people listening to for a dollar uh, okay so back to the party um <laughs> things i need to upgrade on the jeep are one fix the exhaust leaks figure out what the yep. vibration is in the driveline okay so uh so what, you don't we so you dug about, into that okay so, well, so yeah, let's know let us what know what you're was. Was. so last night i was hanging out in the house and the uh jess and owen went to bed and I was hanging on the couch. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go in the garage. I had the Jeep in the garage, uh, drying off. That was a washed smart it. move. Oh, oh, you've already washed it. Oh, it's done. Oh yeah. Can you wash clean. mine? No, no, dude. No, no, only wash mine. I did look at a pressure washer. I washed mine, Menards. wiped all the wheels down, re white lettered the tires. Did you really? No. Oh, I was <laughs> full disclosure. Okay. Not surprised. Like I'm like, of course he wiped the wheels down. Why would you? Yeah, yeah, no. The wheels, you not wipe no, no, the, the wheels have been wiped down, but the white lettered tires have not been redone. The wheels slightly the less wheels surprised because of the time, but the wheels got polished before I left. Yeah. So I re hand polished the wheels to make sure they were recoded because I knew we'd be getting through going through salt spray on the way over there. Oh, don't yeah. remind I me. I don't want to re white. I don't, re- I do not want to pull those back apart to polish them. Mm-hmm. So I just hand polished them real quick, put a coat on them. And uh, when I got back home, they beaded mud all weekend perfectly. Yeah. Every time I looked at them, I'm like, <laughs> you shiny. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why, this is a shiny. Yeah. Um, and uh, I got home, I washed it at the car wash, brought it home, wiped the wheels down, just got all the excess d- dirt that was still settled on because the car wash didn't get it all off. You have to touch it. Don't you? Don't pick it was up not, the phone. That was not. That was just, a, <laughs> that was just an Instagram notification. Um, so uh, anyway, I did that. And um, while I was out there, when I pulled it in the garage, as I hit the brakes, I could feel the front end felt like there's like a clunk, clunk, kind of basically what you can feel is the whole front axle rolling forward. Okay. Because those links are trash. Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say, you have talked about how those joints are junk anyway. It's so. just the upper links. It's just all of the the two bushings in the upper links and the way the upper links are built are just complete garbage. I need to just get, get rid of them all together and I'd be a lot happier with my life. But I haven't done so yet. So here I am bitching about it. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> here we are. There's literally an easy solution. The easy solution is to is to build a small link that goes in there with Himes on both end Mm -hmm. on both ends. Perfect solution done. Like there will be no more play. The only play that will be left in the front axle will be the lower synergy bushings, which we know the dual durometers have very little play in them. So like, why don't you do that? Because I just want to delete it and go three link. Oh, okay. So that's why I haven't done it. But either way, I know, I know it's, it's, I just go on the like need. Yeah. Because it flexes well. It does fine. So, like, do like, you need to go to a three-link? N- only so that it'll stop making so much noise. Like, only so it'll tighten everything up so that it drives better. So, uh, anyway, the thing of it is, is that I need to, um, so I go out, I'm sorry, just erase all that. I, I go out in the garage, and I start rocking it back and forth to the front tires, just kind of like, rocking it to see if I can get the axle just to kind of rotate on its own Mm -hmm. from doing that. And as I'm rocking it, I'm bounce. I'm I'm like rocking it onto like, I'm loading the drive shaft one direction and then loading the drive shaft the other direction, you know, come back. Yeah, because it's probably in park. Right. And I hear this cracking noise from the back section. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, really? I'm focused up here right now. (laughs) I will get to you in a minute. Like, damn it. Nope. I was like, oh, really? So I rolled up underneath this thing and I put my foot up on the front tire and I roll the front tire forward until it binds and then let it roll itself back and then roll it forward. And I'm looking back there. And so if you can picture looking, laying on the ground, looking at the rear yoke mm-hmm. and you're looking at the drive shaft and you're watching the cross and the yoke do like. <laughs> so she needs a little, like, a little preventative maintenance. <laughs> done there, eh? So a solid like 16th of an inch of movement in the uh, caps. On it's the yoke, that's quite a bit. He has a lot, 
And I was like, oh, no. I was like, well, I wonder if that's what's caused my vibration. Probably. <laughs> probably doesn't help. Sure. Certainly not. So I had a spare one in the back in the uh, in the hatch already. The, the I spare from joint. A, a spare U joint. Yep, yep. Brand new one. Uh, one of the heavy duty guys from Napa. Okay. I pulled it out and pulled the drive shaft, replaced the U joint, threw it back together, threw it back in the Jeep. And when I pulled the old caps off the u-joint that were in the yoke side i pulled the caps off and they were, they had about eight needle bearings between the two of them wow left so it was pretty trash oh they were just, there was Didn't nothing left just put that no that u-joint wasn't new but like i just had it apart like not that long ago and so i'm like where did i trash that u-joint were you drunk when you had it apart no i don't remember if i took hmm. the caps off it but i pulled it so here's the thing this time the caps were really loose and like would just fall right off. Yeah. But when I removed that drive shaft to pull that nine inch, I literally taped up the U joint and I hung it up on the exhaust. Mm -hmm. And so like it seemed fine, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it had a broken bearing in it or a broken needle bearing already or not. I don't know. Nonetheless, it was trash. <laughs> I replaced it, took it for a drive, still has a vibration the same. Yeah. So it didn't change anything. Uh, I still don't know what the vibration problem is. But I do think that it's pinion angle and possibly the centering pin in the uh, double carton. Hmm. So I'm going to rebuild the double carton with two new, two new joints, because why not? Yep. And uh, while I'm there, I'm going to pull the whole cage apart and put a brand new centering ball and all that. Rebuild that completely. The whole shebang. Mm -hmm. Just you're there anyway. Redo it. I did the front one years ago. Yeah. And is it easy? No. But it's not hard. Might as well do it now before a good solid year of wheeling. Yeah. I'm just going to rebuild it. I'm I'm chasing this vibration. If I can get the vibration going, dude, it's a perfect street rig. Yep. Like it runs. It drives fine. I rolled over here at 70 mile an hour. No problem. With the vibration. So you fix this U joint? I fix U joint. And still vibration. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the U joint was not the vibration. The U joint was not the vibration. Now, the U joint was not good. Yeah. By any means. But it clearly didn't. But fix it wasn't the, the issue. Okay. Um, I think so. It's a double card and shaft. And with a double card and you're supposed to have the pinion pointing directly at the transfer case. Yeah. Because we've talked about how uh -huh. you like need a shift. I guess preloaded would be the right word. Right. Upwards. With your anti wrap. Yeah. To, to help that. So. And, it, and it, I don't know that it helped any. I don't know. I can't so tell need the to change the pinion angle. Yep. Just need to change. I need to change the pinion angle and fix and redo the. Uh, centering pin in the double carton. So you literally just need to buy a pair of shims. Maybe. Show me no, I'm going to make a set. Oh I'm my make God. Just buy. If you would have bought, you've been talking about making some for like, I'm not tearing episodes. apart. I haven't torn it apart. Okay. Here's the difference. Buy a set of shims and tear the leaf pack back apart, uh -huh. which I didn't enjoy the last time I did it. Uh huh. Or I don't what's a, you literally take two C clamps. Yep. And you C clamp the leaf pack. I don't have enough bolt. So you just go buy another centering pin. They're like $2. It's annoying. Everything everything you're saying right now is annoying. You're annoying me, Ian. Okay, go do it the wrong way, <laughs> I guess. Jesus. J J Jesus. Uh, I didn't have any luck the last time I had a shim in my pack. What? What does that mean? Well, it means that I ended up twisting the... I ended up S-curving the bolt. The bolt was just like completely mangled. Well, you didn't have the U-bolts tight then. They were tight. The only reason that would move is if that leaf spring pack slides forward or backwards. Well, apparently it did, I guess. So your U bolts weren't tight. I guess I don't know. That's what I would it's been a decade ago, so yeah, I can't I tell you. Assume you know what didn't do that? The five sixteenths grade eight bolt that I put in there after that. Yeah, well, it never. Yeah, it you never just did round that. the head and send it. Good to go. I didn't even round the head. Just put her in there. Send it. So, uh, nonetheless, I will get it shimmed to its liking. And try to get all that dialed in. I may have to readjust my anti wrap bar. Yeah, lengthwise, I don't yeah. know. How, I don't know if I have enough thread on my heim joint to able to give it that twist that it needs. So I will work on that. If I have to, I'll just slice and splice the top link on the anti wrap bar. Yeah, and get that fixed. But that's the thing. So I want to do the drive shaft, or you know, replace the U joints and drive shaft. That's the first thing. Then I'm going to adjust that pinion angle, get that right, and then. Uh, also at some point have the drive shaft balance checked by a professional shop. 
Oh, really? Just to double check it. I don't know. You can check run out on it and the rig right now. Just put on jack stands and Just put the rear on jack stands <clears throat> and set up a put dial a indicator, dial indicator on, on each end and then the center mm-hmm. and then just spin that tire yeah. mm-hmm. and just check the run out on the shaft and that'll tell you where it's mounted or, or you know, mm-hmm. why, when it's all mounted and bolted in there mm-hmm. where your run out's at, mm-hmm. it'll give you a, a fairly idea. good idea of where you're Not at. A bad idea. I might do that at some point. Because it's no different than what they're going to do. They're going to chuck it up in a lathe, which right. is mounted to the vehicle, so right. it should be solidly mounted. I'm going to uh, fix the centering pin. There is a, just a little bit of play in there, mm-hmm. so why not rebuild it? Yep. That I took out yesterday. It was super loosey-goosey. Um, so I'm gonna is that fi- a technical term? Yeah, loosey-goosey. It's about three quarters <laughs> past fuck. <laughs> kind of concept. Well, it definitely is not new. Okay. I don't know if I've ever changed those U-joints. Really? In the 10, uh, let's see, I put that in there late 08. So she could use probably a freshening up. Probably wouldn't hurt. Isn't that, isn't that mind-boggling? Preventative maintenance. I, I think mean, she had wheel that. enough. Facts. Shit should be trash. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I got so literally no room to talk. I but. jumped on Adam's drive shaft mm-hmm. to look to see about getting drive shaft from them. Yep. First off, it's going to cost me a small fortune. Well. If you um, think that's expensive, go call him. <laughs> go call Jake Berkey. Would you? Uh, would you have to give for both front and rear? Was it fifteen hundred? <laughs> was it two grand? It was over two grand. It was over two. So it was over a thousand dollars a shaft. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, they're less than that. All said and done, with the carrier bearings, U joints, shafts, labor, shipping, blah yeah, blah, blah blah. Yeah, you're yeah steep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just just fess it up yeah so uh, that's what i mean i'm but like yeah yep. but you're building for a buggy so anyway i was reading their website and they said that if you're going over a 38 and a half inch tire that they recommended going to the 1350 series uh double carbon shaft with um the, in their extreme duty with the solid u-joints and all that and i messaged robbie who works there and was talking to him about it he's like yeah go with the solid u-joints are a lot stronger and the you get better you know better life out of them. I was like, all right, I will consider that as an option. Can you do away with the double car and drive shaft? Okay, so we can get right to that. Okay, because uh, I'm was not a fan the of them because I've always fucking chunked that ball bullshit. I have out of never them. broke one. Off, oh, I've got like four fucking out in the. I had back. one. I had one wear out from just use on a. It was a stock drive shaft had 150 thousand miles on it. Mm-hmm. I had one wear out. Um, and I replaced the, and I just rebuilt it in the front end and it had a similar vibration to what I have now. So that's what makes me think like rebuild that first because it needs it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying they're bad. I just, I've never had any good luck with them. So so I was talking to Derek the other day we were, I was chatting him up on the phone about something and we started talking about this vibration deal and he's like, well, you can like, as long as that drive shaft is now with the stretch, he's like, you can get rid of that double cart and you don't need that. And I was like. Well, touche. I mean, all right. I don't know. But the thing is, is so if I get rid of the double carton, then I need to have the axle. The rear axle needs to come down, I think, a little bit to match the angle. Because so then the the transfer case angle and the rear end angle need to be parallel, right? Yeah, they. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So, right. Yeah. With the double carton, the rear needs to point at the transfer case with a regular drive shaft. It yep. just needs to be parallel. Yep. The angles need to be the same. Yep. Um. The thing I like about tipping the rear end up is it brings that drive shaft away from the ground mm-hmm. at the rear end. Yep. I kind of like, I, I do enjoy that. Yep. But, uh, you yeah. Pin, are you running a pinion guard in the rear? Mm-mm. See, that, that would be a be. good investment. I know. Pull it back apart, put a pinion guard on it. Yep. Yeah. I need to think about doing that because, well, I didn't have any problem with a pinion getting into anything, but you can see I tore up the drive shaft when we were playing on that hill, that bouncy hill. Yep. The video that Kyle sent last night. Mm-hmm. When I was playing on that, I he was like, I think you're gonna hit your drive shaft. Like, oh, there's some scratches on it. Like, <laughs> I can hit it all I want. You ain't gonna hurt that drive shaft. You're not gonna fuck that up, but the joint may just <laughs> that exit drive shaft is left. quarter wall. <laughs> She's a beast. <laughs> are yours even quarter wall? Uh no. I didn't think but yours are bigger. Yours are what, two and a half or three inch? Uh, I think they're three inch. Jesus. Huge. Three inch, eight, eight inch wall. Yeah. yeah. Derek was saying with uh with it being a two inch drive shaft, like one eighty eight would be plenty. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, I don't know. I thought about getting an Adam shaft. Just ordering a thirteen fifty series. I have a thirteen fifty yoke sitting at the shop. 
uh, for that nine inch. It came on one of the nine inches when I had it. You'll get a little bit more angle out of a 1350 shaft too. Which is fine. It doesn't matter because I don't ever use it. I will never use enough angle. Need more flex. In the rear? I don't know. Didn't we just have a conversation about how it just works? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you want to cut it up anyway, so (laughs) let's cut it up. So, uh, yeah. So I thought about maybe going up to an Adams. I don't know. I'm going to call them at some point and chat them up and just see what their take is on that. Mm -hmm. Like, should I go back to a non-double carden? And then if I go to that, I don't even know. I've always heard that the double cardan is there for vibration. Excellent. Well, I have a vibration. Well, but <laughs> but that's why, because that's why like OEMs will yeah. usually use them in the front because they'll reduce vibration mm. at speeds. Okay. But you see, they don't we'll use handy. them in the rear well, in see, an that's OEM a- situation, which I think is very intriguing to me. Yeah. Because theoretically, the re- how often do you use a front shaft on an uh, OEM yeah. stock truck situation? All as the far time. As far as like an OEM manufacturer is concerned. Well- like in a newer truck all the time because it's constantly spinning when you're out of gear. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause the hubs are there. There's no hubs on a newer truck. What? What? What do you mean? There's no, hubs? it's four wheel drive. Uh huh. How many v- newer vehicles that have four wheel drive have hubs? Well, my the truck on the driveway does. It's a 2020 and it has, how about the other truck in the driveway? Hubs? No, that one doesn't. Okay, exactly. So maybe but, the double carton is is helpful for when it's not spinning. Yeah, like for when it's not doesn't it's not loaded. Doesn't so one load. end one end doesn't have a load yeah. on it, the other end is just spinning it. And that's what I'm kind of getting at. It's like yeah. you use the rear under load more often, right? But like obviously the OEMs do that for a reason. I don't know. So the shaft, it's not angle, right? On a fucking. 80, and I don't know why Chevy, they don't have an angle problem with that double card on oh. a 241. So I went to the double card in the rear when I went to the SYE, the slip yoke eliminator mm-hmm. in the transfer case. Yep. And that's what they sent me. That's what Rusty sent me. It was a Tom Woods double card, but I was also on an eight and a half inch lift. Yeah. So now that I'm not eight and a half inches of lift tall, you flatten inches, her back out, flatten but- her back out a bit. I wonder if, uh, I don't know, but I don't know. Do I need to, so then I'd have to buy a yoke for the transfer case, I assume? Yeah. Okay. So I'd have to buy a new yoke for the transfer case to accommodate a standard U-joint yep. of sorts, or I'd have to do a flange, I'd be all right, too. Well, either way, if you do a flange or a yoke, but yeah, yeah you mm-hmm. would need something there. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that'd hmm. be it. Yeah. I'm going to call Adams and talk to them. I'm also wanting to talk to call Adams and talk to them because I'd like to have somebody from them, some representative of their, of you know, company on here. Yep. So um, I'm going to call them up and chat them up one time and see what they say. Just get an idea from them. They are the driveline esports. Yeah. Well, they'll supposedly. be able to answer your question other than me just randomly going. <laughs> this I is don't what know I heard. why I would do that. Yeah. Or why I wouldn't do that, you know. So, but anyway, Derek was saying, yeah, switch up to the other style. And I don't know. It's an option for sure. But I need to figure out that driveline vibration. I need to get that front end to stop moving around back and forth like it does. And um, fix the exhaust leaks. The Not exhaust leaks, but the cabin leaks. Find out why I'm getting exhaust in the cabin. So I don't asphyxiate myself on drive. Where's your exhaust exit? Uh, Just behind the axle. Hmm. Does it, it just dumps out right there. Hmm. So uh, when you're sitting still and the exhaust blows back under the cabin, I know where one big leak is. So right you think my you seat. need to go back farther with the exhaust then? Or? I'm going to when I do like a full exhaust on it. Mm-hmm. So after I situate, like after I get the three link like area nailed down as to where it's going to be, um, then I'm going to have Reds rebuild the exhaust from front to back, put a catalytic converter in, change where the muffler location is at. And then I want to do a tailpipe all the way out the back, ideally, or somewhere much further back than it is. It used to be that it like went up and over the leaf spring. Yeah. And came out beside the hitch. And then it dumped out like right by the tail light mm-hmm. and like it had a nice little tip just dumped at an angle. Yeah. Super slick. Like it was nice. Yeah. I liked it a lot. Hmm. Uh, but with the new setup, I couldn't run that the way I wanted to with the pipe that I had. And I don't have a bender. So, yeah. If I had a custom bender, oh yeah, it'd have full on. It'd be beautiful. Oh yeah, it would be rain back there in such a way that like it's all tucked up to everything. Um, but that's something I want to do in the future. That's going to cost me a few hundo 
to get that done. But I do want to run a catalytic converter on it again, and I want to run a muffler. I want that fucker to be silent. Quiet. Whisper. Rig. Quiet. Yeah. I just want you to hear me going break. Just, just drive up it. I want to sound like a new Toyota going up a, up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper quiet and just a little bit of tire bark. That's and it. then perfect. Yep. And then every now and then you hear me get on. It's like. <laughs> maybe not. Oh, yeah. Is, it, is, <laughs> is that a summit? Is, is that like a actual picture may not match stock photo? <laughs> not not user or not original poster sound. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, I definitely want to be, I want to be a little bit quieter than it is. And I'd like to run the pipe all the way at the back. Um, and just, those are my right now outside of like interior stuff. Like I want to buy a couple of switch panels for it and do some like interior mod stuff to make it a little bit creature nicer. comfort, I'm not creature comfort. I don't have a, right now I don't have a place to plug in a uh, phone charger, so to speak. So you need a custom center console. Is that what you're saying? That's what I think you just said. <laughs> I'd rather just just here to point it out. Yeah, it could be. But I think you just said you need a custom. I don't know center how console. I'm going to build that yet. Yeah, I don't know what material I'm going to build it out of yet. Sheet metal. And I don't. Maybe. What else would you build it out of? Aluminum? So, no, something. I mean, aluminum or something different. I don't know. I want it to be kind of nice. Like I want it to be different than everybody else's. That's what I want. Okay. Everybody builds a sheet metal console. Build it out of fucking carbon fiber. Nice. I like it. I know a guy. Ugh. <laughs> that shit looks painful to work with. Like I watched videos of that. I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> what is that? A, is that a carbon fiber center console? Yeah. Yes. Like, yes, it is. No, thank you. Yes. That'd be wicked cool, though. I'll be, yeah, it'd be like, bad. Think about, think about like, Picture this a nice, like, molded, like, contoured. Center con like, like carbon fiber, fiber fiberglass it yeah full carbon fiber center console like yeah it's all molded like it's contoured nicely it looks super sleek mm -hmm. and it's got a VX just hanging out the top yeah, of it it'd be great I know that's what I'm saying it's like pipe See? dreams on this <laughs> what or I could just keep the stock console I have now mm -hmm. rip the center piece out of it mm -hmm. put the VX back six inches from where it's at mm -hmm. build a new top plate that drops in there mm -hmm. with my switches my switch panels cut into it mm -hmm. just build it out of aluminum mm -hmm. put a couple cup holders in it mm -hmm. do away with the e-brake handle mm -hmm. done i like it Me so too. you're getting a custom console and a vx shifter i can do like the stock console with a custom aperture you see what i'm saying it's with, a lot less work with a vx shifter. yes with the vx uh, shifter. Okay. yeah otherwise we just leave it like it is okay yeah you're with me now. I feel you. Mm -hmm. When's that going to be done? Uh, when I find dollars for a VX oh, shifter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is yours is in the mail? Yeah, uh, same free shipping stuff? company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, them them people. The no-name shipping company of free uh, promotional ships, items. Shipping specialties. Shipping specialties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> I think it might be Norfolk and Waypal. <laughs> well what happened was <laughs> you got a phone number for that like when you need a vx number? shifter shipped overnight from washington to illinois well there's norfolk and waypal roy just hops in his helicopter <laughs> oh and drops it off drops it off well, that would be nice personally <laughs> hands it to you there's norfolk and waypal we will get you through it <laughs> <laughs> oh good times good times mm. um let's see yeah i gotta order my steering for my rear steer i want to get my rear steer done i'm thirsty you want a beer yes are you okay. going to get well now i just dropped the coast <laughs> i just watched What's it before. extra anyway um yeah let's crack open a beer let's slide her in the last call and let's wrap her up all right let me go find something cool from Corey, maybe Live action. Last call. Look, I didn't make the sound of this one. So uh, this one here is Texas's Texas and Texas is is is, 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 is is right. How many S's do you put on the end of Texas when it's plural? Texas's. <laughs> I think it's oldest te craft te brewery. Te Texas's. Yep. That's doesn't. That's not right. <laughs> Texas oldest craftist craft craftist. Anyway, the oldest craft brewery in Texas. How about that? Is that how it's supposed to be? Uh, Santo, Texas is the uh, beer here. It's a black coal style beer, 
And you should have just said the oldest beard in Texas. <clears throat> See, I should have. Yeah. I can't read the can. The, the, the ink is so old. Texas. St. Arnold Brewery. St. Arnold Brewing Company. Brewed and canned by. It rolled around in the old package for a while. You can see the yeah the mark the line the mark around it. All right, pour that into a cup. So it's a black Kolsch. What do you think it'll look like? Should do you be. have an anticipation? It should be. It should be darker should than that. Be. No, that's. I mean, I figured. I figured it'd be like a light, like almost like a root beer color. And that's yeah, almost that's, that's damn spot on. Yeah, it's pretty damn close to root beer color. Nice. I'll call that halfish. Works for me. Okay. So anyway, we have this black coal style beer. Thanks to Shell Bay. Now we would have been drinking a beer a, a beer from Corey. I gotta make room with a beer fridge. <laughs> but we don't have beer, beer fridge fridges. And so uh because we don't have room in the beer fridges. We've only got a year's supply of podcast beer over there. I eighteen pounds is a lot. Yeah. Well, no, we're going to drink one can of each. Okay. Like each podcast, we're going to drink two cans. How many cans of beer did we get? Oh, d- d- That's what I mean. I don't even know. We had 18 pounds <laughs> probably of beer. The next, probably the next 10 or 12 episodes, at least. Yeah. There's, there's like, at least, I don't know, there's a lot there. It was a lot. It was pretty cool, though. Like, you were excited. I'm excited to drink a few of them. But anyway, this beer. I'm a fan. I could drink that Not all bad. day long. Yeah. Has a good, like, almost a, it's like a brown ale, but it doesn't have that, the ale on it. It's more, it's more cold, so it's lighter. Mm-hmm. I like it. It has, like, a lot of good flavor, and it's light at the same time. Mm-hmm. I do enjoy that. So, why don't we talk about what we were talking about before we fired up the old podcast machine tonight? All right. If we have to. <laughs> Ian. Is is like not sure about putting gears in the dime piece buggy. Nope. So instead gotta, of looking you at gears, say it right. Oh, all right, go ahead. I'm sold on gears. I'm okay. just not sold. They're going to make a big enough difference. Big enough difference for what I want. What do you, you know, jump it? Obviously, you can't jump it. You've already taken out a rear cross member. I know. I'm gonna, it's going to get fixed, <laughs> and then we're going to jump it again. Okay, so you uh, have that issue. So anyway, uh, you were looking at not just putting parts in an engine. Just go ahead and just unbolt the, the bell housing, start over fresh. Replacement. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I guess it's not the cheapest option, but I just. <laughs> <laughs> the old four eight. Just, uh, I just don't know. <sighs> just don't know what direction to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't either. I feel like for I, whatever reason. So I, I watched. This is where I want to start with this. Mm-hmm. I watched a fucking or I read an article. Mm-hmm. 450 horse yes, with heads in a can on a 4.8. Four eight. What heads? I don't know. They're okay. fucking, the specs were on the thing, but. But they're like a stock head? They're an aftermarket head. Okay. Know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like. Change heads. Put a put a thousand dollar set of heads on it and. Heads, cam, mm-hmm. valve springs, mm-hmm. tune it, and they make 450 horsepower with it. Wow. Oh, 4.8. Yeah. In A. Yeah. Nice. Now, see, I feel like that's hard to believe, but not really. What do I know? Here's the thing. If you checked the compression and the compression was good, mm-hmm. there should be no reason that that engine shouldn't run well unless like the cam is failing or the timing is off on the cam shaft, you know, like something like that. Yep. Like that engine should run like it's supposed to run. Correct. So if they can make 450 horse with cam and heads, do you have any idea what the heads what the heads cost? No. Do you remember who the cam was from? No. Okay, but they had specs there to do such a thing. Yes. I mean, I could find hmm. it again if I wanted to. And then, and then the question is like, is that cam good for off road? Or are you going to put a well? And so to put a, that's what I mean. Like yeah. they're probably if I remember right, um, it was a um. Mm-hmm. It was a drag race. That's why I was like, right. I was like, I can't think of what I wanted to say. It was a drag racing operation or um, application. So right. it's like, which is usually the case, six thousand RPMs. Uh-huh. It makes four hundred. And I'm like, okay, that's a cool fucking story. Like, yeah. but if I see six thousand some RPM, we're gonna all have a problem. No, like, we're, gonna, we're gonna all have good holy footage. God. <laughs> I just want to see it spin the tires over at 6,000 RPM. Ah, boy. Parte. 
Yeah. <clears throat> if we should have put you on something, let you just open it up and get that. <sighs> See, that's the thing. So, like, I watch, like, so you're on 43 Stickies, and we were talking, having the conversation earlier about the bouncers having big horsepower, 1,000 horse, 800 horse, Six, whatever. 1,600 horse. 60, yeah. Big horsepower, yeah, uh, for the for what you're dealing with, and um, but let me bring you back to the video that I believe you and I both watched recently, which is Flex Rocks and Rollovers' newest video, mm -hmm. and the guys in there running 42 inch sticky reds, 43 inch sticky stickies, and they get up on a hill and just and just you know just open it up. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I feel like the guy in the, what was it, a TJ? It was a blue, it was a blue Wrangler of some sort. He's like the first guy to go. Had oh. a set of 43 stickies on yep. it. Yeah, he and was letting her eat. He was letting her eat. He and was it was in, just an uh, LS. I think it was a 6.0. 6.0. But it didn't, yeah. I don't think it had anything done to it. No, it didn't sound so. like it was beefed up. So running nearly the same horsepower rating as you are. Yep. Like 6.0 is not that much higher. They're yep. like three, what, 40 or something like that we were talking about. I don't yeah. had a thing for it. But anyway. Nonetheless, not enough more horsepower that you couldn't stand in it and do that. So I'm just like, I'm just, is it like a stall converter thing? Is like, you can't get enough turn. You can't bring the RPMs enough, enough to light it off. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, or is it gears? Is he running just, I feel like and, I should be able to fucking put that thing to the floor and I should just fucking just spin smoke. the fucking tires yeah. like nobody's fucking business. In low, in four low for sure. Yeah, right. And that's or, or in too low, just not like even thing. when you were out there, when we were down there playing by the pond and you turn around and took off your whole ass, I feel like you stood in it and it just didn't sound like it I was. I forgot the windows were down during that process. So, well, I got covered. Shit. <laughs> I pulled the old like, <laughs> yeah, and then went. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's just like this spraying shit. Just like off the front tires or rear? All of them, yeah. And then through the broken ass window. I'm like, God damn, those stupid ass windows down. Hmm. What do you But I heard you like open it up again. And you did that last time we were there. You did that same thing out yeah. tearing around. Yep. Like trying to make it run. It just right. doesn't go. It just doesn't and feel like it has the, the oomph. And I just have. for the life of me cannot believe 100% that. It's like the gears are going to fix it, but it also, I mean, it's a fucking converter that is a stock converter yeah, that for a may or may not be fucked. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't fucking know. Like I'd and see, you know, it's not like it's, it's a the, new stock converter. Right. It's literally just yeah. like a, boop. whatever was there. Yes. Uh, ooh, oh, damn it. I wonder if a, if a converter out of a turbo three fifty would work. Well, I'm to the point now where I'm completely open and happy to buy a, a new, new converter. converter. Yeah. Because I'm not going away from a 400. Right. Like, it's just. Going to buy one anyway. I'll buy a built one from Fritz Performance, but, mm -hmm. like, I'm going to run a 400. Right. So that converter can go with me for a while. Right. So, so you can buy a Circle D or whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I don't know fuck all about converter stuff. Yep. Me either. I have. The one thing I do know about converters that I've heard but I've never confirmed or mm -hmm. don't know how you confirm it. If you put uh, hydraulic oil in a converter. Okay. Apparently the thicker viscosity oil mm -hmm. raises the stall. Really? I had never heard so of that. I've read some shit on Raises it or lowers it? It would be lowers it. No. Oh. I would think it would lower yeah, it. Yeah, it should lower it, making it more up. Uh, opportune for off-road uh -huh. stuff for crawling stuff huh interesting yeah i was backwards yeah but yeah but that won't help you with the gear set you currently have because you don't have the if you had it locked up it wouldn't be able to turn it over and make the rpm it needed to make to light off yeah mm -hmm. so i don't know yeah. i really just need to power through get this fucking rear steered axle yep. built put get in the, and geared up because even if you don't like in op like even if you don't make the rear steer ready to go Right out of the gate. So you have all the pieces, but like, even if you were to put it together and lock out the rear axle, you could still. I wonder how you do that. Um, instead, where the ram goes, mm -hmm. just build a mount there that bolts down like the ram would. Oh, yeah. And then just put the, the heim joints like, into that. Yeah. Uh huh. Be fairly easy to build. You could literally build it out of like a two by two or like four by four piece of steel. 
Uh-huh. You can just lock it out. Ian's over here pondering his thoughts. I am pondering because I'm like, <laughs> would it be a better idea to save the like 500 bucks for the Ram and the Tyrod kit and spend that on something else to get it going? But I don't really need much else if you're housing wise to get it going. Well, you're not going to save on the Tyrod kit because you're going to need the Tyrod kit. Well, yeah, but this or is you're going like, to build a Tyrod. Yeah, tyrod. So I just right. build some Tyrod out of some. Fuck, I don't know. Electric weld. Yeah, it's just some cheap, <laughs> some cheap shit because you're going to throw it away. Right. But you'll need the Heim joints or whatever. But yeah, you can do, you can lock it out because like they do that on some of the other, um, some of like factory applications that had like knuckles on the rear. Mm-hmm. Like some of the cars um, that run a strut in the rear, they'll run like a similar knuckle to the front in the rear. Mm. And then they'll just run from the, from where the, uh, tie rod would normally go. They'll just run a bar from that to some part of the chassis to so whatever and yeah. just lock it out. And like, you can literally go back there and adjust toe with it. Mm-hmm. Like it's made like a tie rod. It just, it mounts to the chassis instead of mounting or the cradle instead, instead of mounting to, to a rack that moves. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like I, there's been cars, I get anything to, to align them. And I'm like, what the, this is a front knuckle. Like, why is this back here? Like, it's genius, though, because you can put a same wheel bearing on all four corners. Yeah. Like, it's genius, really. Hmm. Yep. So that's something to, something to think about is just, um, I don't know uh, what your plan is or whatever, but yeah, you could lock out that rear axle, get your gears in, go out, rash on it, and then take your time to, you know, while in between trips of whatever. I think it's not really a um, problem is it's six of one half of the what the fuck exactly. ever. You, you got to have the, the trust. You got to do all that. So I might as well. Just you have the pieces. The only thing you need is a ram. Like, I don't feel like you're that far out. I'm just going to power through. Yep. Just keep on a little piece at a time. Make sure, you know, get your axle together, get your truss on, order your ram and get your. I need to get my link brackets. That's a good thing. I could order right now. Okay. Get I'm your link right on the list. Little pieces at a time. But yeah, do all that. And I think that you'll be happy. I think once you get gears and I think it'll be a little bit better. Then we can take her for a test drive out there to the old B lands, do a quick shaky downer on her and see what she looks like on the rear steer. Yep. If, if you get it done soon, early enough before the trip down there to, to, uh, where is it? Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Yep. Yep. If you get done enough time before that, we could take a quick trip over there to the Badlands and, just give her a shakedown. If not, then I guess you'll take it down to Harrisburg and shake, shake it down it there. Down there. Yeah. It's got a trailer. It'll, it'll drag its ass back home. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're going to have any problems with it. No, Second no, one no. you've built, I think it's going to be more refined than the first one. It's going to have a set of Brannock axles in it. Shouldn't have any problems there. Uh, do you need to get your unit bearings? What do you, are you going to? I'm going to redrill drill? those. Okay. Got to redrill those at some point. You already have all that stuff, right? Or are you going to replace it? With what? What? The wheel bearings. Oh, no, I've already already got those, yeah. So you're just going to use the ones you have with it? Yeah, they were, they don't feel like they're fucked. Yeah. So I'm going to run it for a while, at least get you going. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. It'll get your wheel mount surface at least. Yep. Get you that far. Get that going. I need to order. That's exciting. Yeah. Rear steer. Yes. One trip, build rear steer. Yes. So now we can build after the second trip. Oh, new engine. That's right. New engine. Yeah. Yes. Man, third trip. I'm so excited. Fucked. <laughs> Holy <bucket>. new rig. <laughs> um, I don't know. The problem is with the rear steer. Like, I don't necessarily need it for rock stuff. Yeah, but in the but woods, like, boy, there's a lot of freaking trees around here. <laughs> that would be real nice to just kind of boop. And I feel like with your wheelbase, I don't feel like that's going to get any better depending on what park we go to. Nope. Like there's no parks that's that's just going to be like, oh, that's better. Yep. You know, like if we go down to uh, what heart, uh, what's it called down there? Harlan, Harlan, Kentucky. No, nah, but sure. Go down there, go to Winrock, any of that stuff. It's all going to, it's all woods and trail. You built a bouncer. If I would have my exo <laughs> cage yeah. on, it would have not cost me a window. If only there was a guy. I need to get see, and then that's on my to do list too. Mm, it's a long done. to do list, and There's I have big goals of having it all done by Lofty. March. I would like to, which is why I don't think the cliffs is going to happen because I have like for all your intentions of like that thing is coming apart this week. Do you want to ride up there? Ugh. Like if I go, my wife's not going to go with me. Maybe depends mm-hmm. on the day, a weekend. 
possibly. Oh, you're fucked on Saturdays. Usually now, yep. <sighs> Who covered you this Saturday? Oh, it was New Year's Day. New Year's Day, which no, was, doesn't no, mean a whole lot, but it wasn't New Year's Day. It was the second. They're not working hardcore at the moment, right. so as they shouldn't be when it's this cold out, like when it gets colder and stuff. One wouldn't think. Well, you would think. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's a lot, I think. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Is there anybody to cover you? No. No. That's the problem. You're the only guy. That's just not. What the hell? Yeah. <sighs> all right. Story of my life. Well, I guess we'll shut this one down. Slam and the rest of this beer. I could drink this. This is a. Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. drinkable. It's a good beer. Unfortunately, you can't get it without going to Texas, I would imagine. That's fine. I got to go down there anyway. Hey, oh. Do you know? Yep. For what? Pick up my motor from Thompson Motorsports. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did there? That was yeah, good. I you like didn't that. see where I was going. No, there. no. Thought, like, oh, visit I, Shelby. I thought, yeah, I thought maybe you had to go see Shelby for an event or something. He's pretty close to Thompson Motorsports. Oh, like, is he? It's like 45 minutes or something. Oh, like yeah. That, like an hour or something. In route or out of route? I, I don't think. know. It's like it's an, an hour area. ish. Yeah. If you're that close, you may as well go I see him. I guarantee you, mm-hmm. I'm going to go on record. If I drove. To Texas, yes, to pick up an engine from uh-huh. Thompson Motorsports. Uh-huh. I guarantee you, Shelby would buy me dinner. Bet full dollars. <laughs> guarantee you, it would happen. You would get there and you'd be like, Let's go to dinner. He's like, Oh man, I sent it to you. Yeah, on the shipping service. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> We're at your house. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I left it in the it's, buggy. It's at work. Uh, it's at work. Where do you work? <laughs> Across the street. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so anyway. All right. Well, uh, I guess I should tell some people where you can find some stuff. Yep. If you don't know by now, you can find us on Facebook at the uh, Total Off-Road Podcast on Facebook. We've also got the Trail Riders page where you can continue the conversation. Facebook, uh, the, t- the Total Off-Road Podcast Trail Riders group on Facebook. So go check that out. Make sure you get in there and answer the two questions and that will get you right in. You don't have to wait for us to accept you. And we are now, we are on Instagram at total underscore offroad underscore podcast. And at uh, also on YouTube, double uh, double w dot YouTube uh, on YouTube and at uh, www dot total offroad podcast dot com where you can get our swag like the Nug Life stickers, some total offroad podcast swag, T-shirts. And new swag and a pair are like new things coming soon, hopefully. Yes. Is that all the things? Yeah. I think Did I so. say all the things? Oh, last call was brought to you by Complete Off Road. We forgot that. I had a call, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. Bye, Felicia. Thanks for tuning in for episode 55, and we will catch you on the trail. 